fuck yeah, Rick James. Boom, no, no, no. How y'all doing out there? Me, I'm fucking awesome. Let me tell you something. I went to go see a musical yesterday, which is not like me because I'm not the musical kind of guy. But my ex fucking choreographed it, so I was like, I got to go see this shit. If you read uh, Hyena, you know that when I saved up money, I'd stop. I was I used to do like hustler t- hustling type shit, and I had like this fucking I did mushrooms and two days in a row on the second day. Like I was, I started crying. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do any of this anymore. I'm gonna be a square. And um, when I was a square, I was dating this young woman. Years later, I was dating this young woman. And she was a go-go dancer upstairs at the fucking, at this gay bar. And she was the one that got me the job at the fucking gay bar. And, like, I've been watching her come up since forever. And I got to go see her, her fucking musical. And, yo, I damn, I started fucking, I was crying. I was so fucking happy. I was just so fucking happy. I was like, hell yeah. Not bad. Not bad. So... Hats off to you. Go see Moulin Rouge if you if you can get a ticket. It's a it's it's a hot ticket in town, and the, the shit goes hard too. I was actually genuinely enjoyed the fucking show. I was like, look at this, like she's crushing it, and I'm really enjoying a fucking musical. Who the fuck knew? I'd have liked it even if she didn't do the choreography. So shout out to her. It's good. I love seeing motherfuckers like I just love seeing people I know get it and you should too cause if you don't that means you ain't getting it yourself that means you're a fucking spiteful bitch Not, you don't wanna be a bitch do you you wanna see everybody eat like if, especially if they're good people you wanna see good people do good things No losers around me. I don't want none of that shit. Other people in my life, like, I want them to die. But people that I fuck with, I'm like, yeah. Fuck yeah. And even people that I fucking hate, if they're doing better than me, like, whatever, let me grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you can do, all you can do is focus on your own shit. But you got to cheerlead. You got to cheerlead the people in your life, man. You just want, you got to see them cats. You got to be happy when they come up. And if someone ain't happy when you come up, cut them out of your fucking life. Unless you're related to them and, you know, whatever. Just Some people got like, little, some people got them weird moms that be going to the club like, they think we sisters. Like, nah, bitch, you just the old slut. They don't think you're sisters. You were just a teen mom and you don't want to fucking give shit up. You don't want to give it away. And now you're going to fuck her boyfriend down the road. I see, I've, I've, I've heard that song before. What's up with y'all, lady? I know there's a couple of y'all listening. Why? Just tell me why. I get it. You had to give up your fucking, you had to give up your youth to fucking raise a kid. No one thought you could have scraped it out. Roe v. Wade. Scrape that shit the fuck out. Done. I want your cake and eat it too. And you're mad that your daughter's got a fatter ass than you and shit. How we sisters? <laughs> Love them. That was like when I went to that strip club and the girl wouldn't jerk me off because her mom was dancing right next to us. It's like, man. I should have offered her more money. That would have just... I, if I if I could look back and... I wasn't ready. I, I'm going to be real. I was not ready for her to be like, that's my mom. But it would have been worth... I'd have, I should have paid triple. Let's see. Let me see. Re and uh female. Uh re re and female. Re in Atlanta. Re what's up? Re. Can she hear me or Hello? Yeah, go I ahead. You. you 
go ahead. What's I didn't up, know Ree? if I was on the radio or not. Oh, what's up? What up, though? What's up? So I'm calling from Atlanta. My name is Nyree in the car. My best friend, Andre. And I mm. tuned in and I heard some shit about how, like, you was crying about because you, like, couldn't get placed with some bitch. Don't be crying over these hoes because y'all no, 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 no. good as fuck. No, no, I wasn't crying over. I wasn't. No, no, no. I was crying because I was so happy to see my ex make it so far. I was so I was crying oh. out of joy. It was like tears of yes. like, you know, you know, like when the uh, like the dad's crying in the in the stadium when yes, his son wins, a, scores a touchdown or some shit like that. That I was like. You. Yes, I was cry cause I, you're, no, no, nah, for oh, real. We from Atlanta. Yeah, we from Atlanta. Fuck that bitch. Like cry cause you scoring a fucking touchdown. Cause we listen to your show. Like yeah, no, it wasn't no bitch shit. Is, no, yeah, there was no bitch shit at all. It was okay, straight up I'm like high. I know. Maybe I just tuned in on the last part. Yeah, I'm yeah, high, yeah. So. Look, I'm just saying. Like this, this girl came from the soil, grinded her yeah. ass off, and is yeah. and choreographed a kill like a fucking monster show on broadway i don't even fuck with broadway so i was in there fucking right. the uh hey pull up that fucking shit royals they they was like doing royals. some dance to the royals shit where not bro you, i forgot i don't even know who sings it's it's, it's one of the Are new girls high? am i high no i'm fucking yes. no i'm on mm. caffeine what you on? caffeine oh okay you high I the was, caffeine i can tell i can tell my shit's grinding <laughs> Whoever John is, though, fuck him. Fuck John. Fuck you. You can't turn off your goddamn radio. You're sitting there. Am I on the air? What are you, a fucking moron? I'm just screaming at the goddamn window. Who fucking let this idiot on the air? That's how I really feel, you fucking... C- oh, you almost her a cunt. I know. Jeez. It's a black chick. He's not going to offend her. I know. I can hear the radio in the background. It only works on white chicks. Uh, get rid of her. Someone get rid of this lady. I'm going to kill myself. Put on that royal song. Why are you fucking arguing? Uh, yeah, that's right. You hear me screaming. I hear myself screaming. Oh, oh you're the bitch. Oh, my Damn, God. Uh, She's got a fucking boyfriend. I can't believe yeah. it. <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill himself too. Honestly, I'm just hyped to hear myself on the radio. But I all fuck right, with Reed. you, though. You're a real Thanks. ass nigga. I fuck with you. Follow me on Instagram. You. My underscore Rich Reed. Uh, what is it? <laughs> underscore Rich Reed. I'm from Harlem, but I live in New York. I live in Go Atlanta. Ahead. Go ahead. I'm just fi- see what she looks like, John. You can. What's your? You can, uh, what yeah. is it? Chris, underscore Rich Reed. There okay, you go. Great. There's your chance. Right, There's your you. chance to fucking get at her. You could just fucking read her ass on the radio. I'd love to hear you clown. Tell me what she looks like. I can't fucking find it. That's all I was saying. Like, yo, fucking. Oh, yeah, turn that shit up. Yeah. She was doing a dance. That shit was lit. I was like, fuck yeah, dog. I was just like, damn. That was when I, I, that was like when it fucking hit me. I was like, hell no, nah, man. I was so happy for her. I was just so fucking proud to know her. Let's uh, leave that shit on while I take some of these fucking calls. Who kids coming up? So you know what that, you know that's just going to be mayhem, bedlam. Mike and the D, what up, though? What up? I was really lost on the part when you said about the chick in the bar with her mom. Shit, they yeah. for the fucking bar naked, man. Shit, she, she should have cracked on her mom. Like, yeah, because your daughter jacked me off, you know? Shit, damn shit, shit. She already gave her consent to be butt naked, man. Fuck it. I like, know. You I, do yo, for Mike, I wasn't ready. It was at La Chambre over on uh, Telegraph in 96. Ah, uh, see. Ah, uh, see, I, I'm from that area, man. You should have just, you should have just been, I'm trying to tell you. If I you wasn't asked, ready. Mom, Man, I'm trying to say, if you'd have asked mom, you'd have probably been on the show with a whole new outcome. You'd have been looking for moms and daughters, duos at strip clubs. <laughs> yeah, actually, there's like mom daughter porn shit. I would like, if we can book some of those mom daughter porn people, we really need to, y'all. Like, I got to talk to them man, about listen, that. What's that? That's, that's, the new, that's the new thing now, man. Everybody moms wants to be like their friend, friend. Like, they don't want to be mom no more. Mom is my girlfriend type of deal. You know what I'm saying? That's all that team mom shit. Man, don't come in here with politics, bro. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Sorry. Who kid just got here? We're talking about um, mom-daughter porn. 
Hold on a second. You know I'm fucking <laughs> new with this. One, two. Hold on. Fucking. <laughs> oh, man. Who kid? What up? Who kid? All right. All right. Mike and the D. Peace. Yeah, I wasn't dealing with no politics. It's just the traffic. Cause the man, UN... you good, bro? Don't even worry about it. We fucking we're talk. I'd rather talk about moms and daughters fucking than you in traffic. Moms and daughters. What did they walk into? Something normal that we? I was I was talking. I was telling a story at this. I was at this strip club and huh? fucking. This was years ago, and I was trying to get a. Uh, uh, this place is known for hand jobs. Like they 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 carry these bitches got like fanny packs or little the shits, and they'll carry. Purell and lotion in their shit. <laughs> like, this is real? Yeah, dude. It was in the D. And like it was like twenty dollars, bro. Like this was this was fucking shit like ten years ago. And I was <laughs> trying to get it was trying to get a hand job and she was like, I can't. My mom's right there and I look over and her like older version of her is grinding out a dude. And I was just saying, he was literally sitting right next to me. It was on a bench. Like there was just it's just benches. Like it's benches against the wall. And I wasn't ready, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I never came across that shit, so I didn't know how to fucking. I was just like, oh, okay, fair enough. And I was, <laughs> I wish I would have been like, fuck that. I'll give you fucking, I'll give you a hundred dollars, like, you know what I mean? I just, just to be able to like, <laughs> make her mom watch her daughter jerk someone off. Mothers and daughters, they, they, they're connected like that now. Like, it's normal. There, there was yeah, there was one that I saw. Yeah, I've, I've been, I've been looking up the mom daughter porn, like what? the real ones. Yeah, there's a couple of them out there that I'm like, we What's need that? to book them. But it's like two in the morning on a Saturday, so I can't <laughs> fucking, I can't text anybody. And then by the time I wake up, I'm all fucking groggy. Like, what have I done? You know? Isn't the sex like retarded? Because I heard when you combine the same DNAs, you have a retarded mm -hmm. child. Isn't that? I think you got to do it like four times. Is retarded cool to say? I don't think I can say retarded, right? You can say it here. I'm not going to fucking. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. In the 80s, man. I yeah. some words you can't say no more. Like, Yo, bro. For. That shit is a, was a scientific term. It was like, <laughs> it was on stamps. And now it's like half my family won't talk to me because I've used that at Chris, at Thanksgiving. Back to that. Is it, is it, is it normal? Like, like women are attracted to their moms? No, they're not. They're, they'll just both be on the same dick. Oh, so it's not like they're eating each other out. Stuff I don't like remember, maybe, but like, I just remember they were just both. She was like, yeah, your daughter sucks a good dick, doesn't she? Now, she, mom, show your kid, show your, show your kid how you suck dick, mom. Like, it was just grimy as fuck. I was like, man, that's Holy awesome. shit. Yeah, and they weren't even that hot, but like, Damn. you know, I know. I kind of want to get them. I'm a bit turned on, but I mean, I don't know. Is that normal? Is that cool? I don't know. I think... I think both you and I have had so much sex in our life <laughs> that like we have to do shit like that. That's like over the top, right there. Yeah, we've had like you especially. Your you your numbers are like you're what you're like Will Chamberlain. <laughs> <laughs> but never. Mother. I got like Scotty Pippen numbers. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had two sisters, but never mother daughter. Two sisters? Yeah. Did they touch each other yeah. or not? Nah? Um. They were both laying there, and I just hopped on each other. I was like a, a nigga bunny. I just like <laughs> jumped on both, but they, they didn't really touch each other though. What 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 were they? White, black, uh, they Puerto were, Rican? No, they were like Spanish. They yeah, like, I think they were like half Mexican and Nicaraguan or something. Where the shit, fuck you know? was you at? Uh, I was in. Uh, was it? Mexico City or oh yeah you probably could have got yeah. them dude all you had you could if you would have just like had a can of tuna like a case of tuna fish or some shit like that they could have shit be like you want to eat for a month eat your sister <laughs> eat your fucking sister they didn't care they were just they were so happy that I DJ'd and they just wanted to just finish off the experience of like they're like we fuck Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, man. I think they thought I was somebody else. They they're like, was LeBron James, LeBron James, fuck me. Uh, <laughs> Since the one of them didn't speak English, the other one did. So it was very like, I don't know. I'm glad she was there to like, you know, be like the... The, the director. And yeah, like, like she kind of like translated everything. Like, you know, if I, if I wanted her to suck dick, she said it in Spanish. So kind of like helped, you know? Yeah, straight up. But uh, the DNA juices is that cool? Is that scientifically? Is it, why is it like same, like like I don't know, family members just like having sex together? Like I'm gonna be real with you, 
I've come from like in Italy. My people come from like a very small village. What? Yeah. And there was like Angelinis marrying Angelinis. Yeah. Nah. So, and we're crazy. So, I can't do that. I can't have sex like me and my brother fucking the same ch- I can't do that. Like, like yo, bro, let's go get them together, bro. Like, and then I see him hitting it and I hit it after. I can't. Can't have sex with my brother, man. Like I don't know with with, with, with one chick. Like that's crazy. I'm alright. Maybe with that. my maybe like a rap homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like I was at this point where it's like I like I seen like we've I've ran bustos on so many like just so many times. Like I've seen like I've seen I don't need to see anybody's dick again. Like anybody, <laughs> I don't need to see no new dicks. You know. I'm good on that. <laughs> at G the tour, man. It was fucking. Very, see, I was the guy that they kicked out the fucking room. You know, like if if there's a train about to go down, get who kid out of there? Because either I'm Captain Save a Ho, I'll try to stop the chick. Because you know, usually like an incredibly beautiful girl that's about to bang like twelve guys. So I'm trying to like, why you what tour that? was this? Um, <laughs> it, it was the the Jay Z one, the uh, Rock the Mic. Jesus Christ! So I'm like, you're better than this. Who kids all stop? It's not worth it. You hear like one guy hearing me telling you that. <laughs> so then they're like, get who kid out of there. <laughs> so then they they threw me out like the Flintstone cat. You know, like they just threw me out and then they just fuck in my room. <laughs> so then I kind of like reversed. It. I was like, look, can I go first and let me do my intimate stuff and then let all the guys in after because I can't do I can't do it with so many guys in the. I feel like whoever room, whoever hooks it up should get to go first, and then. Yo, they be bad as hell, like pretty as fuck. Like if somebody's daughter is about to bang, like the barber, the security guard. Yeah, the... some of those guys. Like, hey, but like, yo, holy shit! Think about it like this: if you're a fucking if if you're a dude, you are a dude, right? You're a man. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you just be stoked if there was like fucking ten chicks that just wanted to fuck you, just one after the other? That's like. Typical fantasy, yeah. Yeah, so why wouldn't a girl just want a gang of dicks? That's kind of raw. Like, if I was a chick, I'd be a fucking whore, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. I don't know, maybe they're, like, conditioned differently or some shit. Like, mate, But, like... I, I get nervous when I see Ted Brubes. So, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know if a girl could really, like, see <laughs> stuff like that. I'd be mad. I don't even like cleaning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I used to run and fuck it. I used to go to the whole, uh, what's that shit, uh, Home Depot? I used to run from that shit. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know. I've always been insecure. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah. it's cool if you're with, like, your brother, rap brothers, and you share, have a good time. But usually it's dark as hell. Like, I can't see anything. Yo, all right, so call up if you have, have to de- deal with a captain and say, well, I would like fucking who kid ass. Or, Either that or right. if, you, if you're two brothers or two sisters that's fucking yeah. together. We'll take those calls, too. I had a homeboy that was. That's weird. I, this shit, two different, two different things happened. One time I lined up. I lined up some pussy for me and my homeboy. And I couldn't take him back to my crib because I had a dead rat in the wall and it was just <laughs> fucking rotten. It smelled awful. And so I'm like, Sheesh. hey, man, we hit a lick. Just let's go to your crib. And yeah. then when it was time for us to fuck, he knew where the condoms were and I didn't. <laughs> so he got he ran and got his condom mad fast and like started smashing the good looking one. And oh, I like man. I got the fucking I came out with like the clinic lifestyle one, you know, like the day <laughs> clinic fucking lifestyle, dusty as hell, the dry high school joints. Yeah, just fucking <laughs> snug and fucking dust. <laughs> You know it's popping too. <laughs> like a powdered wig. That shit was like putting it on like <laughs> like a donut coat. Yeah, bro. And their fucking pussy was big as shit. I'm like, yo, man, why don't we swap? He's like, nah, man. I'm like, fuck you, dog. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm still mad it. about that shit. I was I was like, I hooked that shit up, man. I hate those kind of really like Oh the, man. The, yeah. There's not even no moisture on that shit. No, nah, yeah, them bitches dehydrated like they just like give me water. I think it was a setup in high school. They gave them out like it was Christmas like. It was like they wanted you to knock girls up. They're like, <laughs> "Here, take this fucking take the worst condom ever. Fuck you, Saint John's prep. Fuck you." <laughs> and now the the ill shit is I actually use lifestyles for uh they got they got the the non-latex ones that are the mm. shit. Yeah. They say in the future there's gonna be like a liquid one. You just like just 
I've been saying that for yeah. forever. Just it's called the dick cork in my brain, and just you just put it on with some with some. Uh, it's like wax, like it's yeah. like honey. You know what I'm saying? Like and it goes around your thing, and it just like yeah. I would do it. I would put it in a motherfucking like a uh, what, like a nail polish bottle, and you just whoop, whoop, <laughs> hold on a second. Let me just fucking <laughs> paint some of this. Paint the top of my dick. Would you trust that though? Like the like a honeyish type condom around your thing. I don't know. I wouldn't be the first person to do it. John tried that shit on a hooker. He he tried the G cap on a whore. Wow, he's he's ill, yo. He took a bus to Compton to fuck her. <laughs> it went down. It happened. Nah, I can't believe it. Are you serious? Yeah, she was this uh, Asian lady. She was uh, she was into it. I was surprised. So at first it was just gonna be like a blowjob, and then she said, "You want to have sex?" I said, "Yeah, okay." Bring yourself up. You're a little low on our end. Was uh, there it we low go. for you too? Yeah, he's a little low. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. it, look at your board. Look at the RS thing. Put boost that. And it was a prostitute, or it was just like a pop off. She was a prostitute. Jeez. Did she smell? Because you don't look like you care. <laughs> she was a lovely not as person. Bad as John. Uh, she did not smell. She was. Uh, no, I don't remember her smelling. She didn't speak English very well. I remember that vividly. That was a bit of a, an impediment, but uh, we got through it. And there was some Does she sex. shave? Well, usually the prostitutes don't shave. They just let their shit go. They're out there getting money. They don't shave. The last the last um, prostitute I had was super clean. Oh, what? Like yeah. shaving? Yeah, I'll show you her. Oh, wow. I follow her on fucking Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cool we were. I couldn't, I couldn't even get. That's, I was like on so much yeah, ecstasy, yeah. I couldn't even get my dick hard and shit. I'm like, let's just be cool. I'll follow you on Instagram. <laughs> I ain't no prostitutes like use social media to promote them. I don't know if she. I, I'm not gonna shout out her shit and yeah, blow her up. Yeah, but, uh, of course. Yeah, it is illegal, right? Like the fuck you yeah, pay for pussy in L.A. Damn, with the fucking hey guys, please don't slide into my DMs with happy birthdays. You guys are fucking killing me. Yeah, I I'm love you. That, like, I appreciate right it. I really, really do. I appreciate it, and I, I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. But the, you're killing me in my DMs, man. Just leave leave a comment. Yo, you, my shit is flooded here. Oh, with the fucking Jesus! I can hear it. It's like endless. Yeah. Look, they're blowing up, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, nigga! You can scroll through. Just run up through. Oh there. my god! Yeah, see. Yeah, how much is that? It was five. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like renting some shit. And when you're in L.A., let me know. Uh, make sure I got that big five yeah. in L.A., you know what I mean? It's sometimes. Jesus. Yep. Yeah, nice right there. Yeah, man. a little thicky. A little yeah. thick red bone. I'm following that. Mm -hmm. My girl don't hear this interview. <laughs> Whatever. God, no. She's like, don't you? You can get pussy for free, but you're not paying for that shit. <laughs> The pay pussy be crazy sometimes though. Like that look like it'd be a good time. Does your do you, are you doing the open relationship where your girl can fuck other dudes or you just fuck chicks? Nah, I'm, I'm just like you yeah. just get to fuck everybody. See, I'm like I'm a, being greedy. I'm fair. So I'm like I'm fair. So I'm like yo, if you need some dick, go get it. We're long distance. I'm black. Black guys yeah, is nah, like yeah, you're not, you're not gonna. <laughs> We don't fuck with that shit. Nah, you're like, we're like, selfish. <laughs> we, we gotta cheat and fuck. Yeah, and then we when won. they check you, then when they check you, like you don't talk to a black man like that. <laughs> fucking pull that shit out on them. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to be with us, and that's it. But we could do what we want. You know what I'm saying? I f yo, I understand. I'm praying to God my girl's not listening she, to this yeah, shit. Whatever, dude. She, of course she's listening to this shit. <laughs> I think she's in the car right now. She's so. gonna like. I didn't get the kid. text yet. You, you still you still fuck with Asian chicks? Uh, or what you got? What you got right now? Uh, white girl right now. Oh yeah, you can do whatever fuck you want. Uh, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Now listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you know, I'm usually not nervous when you date chicks. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. You're nervous about this one? Yeah, I'm just trying to like get back into it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I broke up with the other one like. A couple months ago, so I'm right. back, back into another one. So you're just trying to find a girl that's gonna accept you fucking everything on the planet. And I mean, you know, I I really just want to get some sleep. Like I just want to watch Netflix. You know, watch a little fucking. You know, I don't know, Walking Dead. I just want to just chill. Like I don't even care about sex like that. Just, sex is number five right now. In my yeah, list. you older now. Yeah, I rather watch like like fucking zombies fucking eat bitches. All right, asses, you know what I'm saying? This is all right. Now we got we got some callers now. Uh, Leany, 
Yo, so listen, I was hooking up. I'm in college, right? And I was hooking up with uh, this football player in his dorm. And he's like, you know, big, sexy nigga. Um, mm. And then all of a sudden I look and I see in like, when I see one of his roommates walking in the room, like the door opens, right? So I'm let him finger me, whatever. He comes in and he starts touching my leg. And I said, yo, what the fuck? And he said, no, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. I'm like, what the fuck? But I let him do it. And then, like, three more coming in. They're all basically just in there jacking off watching them fuck me. What? How many dudes did you bang? Just one or the two? Just the one. But, like, four niggas were in there watching me get fucked by this dude. It's kind of weird. Did that turn you on? It's kind of. I don't know. At first, first, first I was kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, Obviously, I let it happen because I did. All right, so you was into it. She probably thought it was a Law and Order episode. <laughs> you know, no, but they didn't. So, but the I was weird just thing talking to my homegirl. She jerks off to those. I didn't. I didn't know they were all sex things. Now, keep I'll going. Sorry. The thing, because he was no, they were just like the ones that touched my foot, and then the guy that was fucking, he's like, nah, nah, it's okay, it's okay. So apparently, it's a thing. Mm. Real talk, I mean, like can't. that's kind of how that's like that was how we would do it. Like, just mm-hmm. have old boy walk in and just see if, like, if she was not good with it, you would just leave. Like, yeah, right. I, right. You, but like, if she was down, but then you're like, okay, cool. this is what and it's gonna like, be. All right. Yeah. So then he was just like, no, nah, no, nah, it's cool. So I'm assuming it's a thing that they do. Yeah. It's some, I, and like, I imagine anyway. some girls get get bustos ran on them that way, but they just they settled for jerking off in a circle. <laughs> Right, right. See, that's where I would have left. Like, I'm not just gonna jerk off to my homeboy. Like, but even like, jerking off to someone fingering a girl's ass, like that's that's some new shit, right there. That was fucking. I remember, like, I tried yeah. to do, I tried to do that to a chick, and yeah. she was like, my man walked in. She was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, hey, get out. Like, she ain't with it. <laughs> See your finger disappear, like a magic trick. I don't know. I yeah. It's like deep. Did, did, did the finger go in very deep in your anus? No, they weren't fingering me. He was just fucking no. She me he was like, right, but she was. Right. It wasn't in her ass. She was just saying finger in my ass. Was it in your no, ass he or was, was it? I mean, he was all over the place with me. But he yeah. just told me. He said. He said it's okay. It's cool. So I said, all right. But the thing, the weird thing is, like, there was like two niggas that like they were touching my legs, like cold, touching my feet, like. So it wasn't this is Utah. I didn't know they had that many black people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> Biggest is over. Yeah. <laughs> there was, <laughs> it was every every fucking black person in Utah was in your room that you day. <laughs> are you white? Are, are, are you white? No, I'm mixed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm like uh, white and Hawaiian. Oh my god, I would jerk off just you telling me this right now. <laughs> she, she's fucking Hawaiian. Holy shit. Aloha. <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> hey, I wanna <laughs> lay it. <laughs> we came with four girls and it was a football team party. So like girls oh, yeah. aren't really even supposed to be there and they were just okay. mad niggas. We were all drinking, like I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yo, you guys are having amazing hey, look, fun over there. Yeah, it sounds like you're living you're living your best life. Like you got my son ready to go to college next year, man. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yo, hold what on. to look forward to. We're All cool. right, we got some, we got some more stories. Uh, Josh in Baltimore. Go ahead, Josh. That was a great story. Thank you. Way. Yeah, that was cool. Yo, Josh. So we were uh, in Costa Rica for a bachelor party last summer, and uh, ended up kind of doing what you guys were talking about with the mom and daughter. And one thing led to another in the house we were staying at and uh, met the mom and daughter, verified IDs, and ended up sleeping with both of them. But it was more of like a, uh, they were both into it, like fucking the, what was the, the age? mom and what was the age? And then, Wait, let me just ask you, you just, let me, what was the age difference? Uh, the mom was just about 40 and the daughter yeah. was like in her early 20s. Nice. Nice 15 yeah. year old mom. So that was, sounds, uh, that sounds uh, about Costa Rica. to remember right there. So, and the the daughter and the mom were in the same room while it was happening? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it was like an all-on threesome. It wasn't like, I mean, I would, like, fuck the mom, and then, like, the daughter would give me a head before I started fucking the daughter, or vice versa. Like, it was, <laughs> it was like a, a porn, pretty much experience. Can you, 
can you imagine yeah. like being a chick and tasting your mom's vagina off no, of some she, stranger's penis? She did come like, out of Jesus it. fuck it. <laughs> she was tasting it for nine months. She's like, I remember this. <laughs> down there, we like we they, they they take the IDs before you come in. So like I had yeah. to go down and see the security guard. Make sure their IDs were legit. They both lived at the same address the whole nine. So it was like, Damn. I'm going to pay for do, doing this. How how much did that How much did that set you back, American? Uh, it was two hundred per per girl. So it was four hundred US. That's a great deal, right there. Not bad. And they, yo, yeah. four hundred US in Costa Rica, like. Psh. And mom and daughter, shit. that's rent for a year. Yeah. They're so you, good. So your dick went in there, and then she kept sucking it too at the same. Like, that's crazy. Well, no, I mean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, the, the, she would give me a head, and then I'd stick it in, and then take it out, type shit. Wow. Did they both? Did they both yeah. head you off at the same time? Shit. <laughs> yes. Damn. That's how it started. Because we were we were doing a bunch of blow, and then one thing led to another, and then it just was all out. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Hookah, you better catch up. Josh in Baltimore I over here fucking, he shit, laughing, yo. you bro. Like, and you, you, see ya. <laughs> yeah, you Will Chamberlain, man, down. you're gonna have to, yeah. You have to hit a family reunion and tear that bitch down. You have to get like triplets or some yeah, shit. Right up. Come in all of them. That's the only way I can catch up. You know? Post up next to the mac and cheese and the just one. try to pull a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's related? Look, coming three bitches and just watch it ooze out. They got to be twins. That's the only way I can catch up to this guy, man. Let's go to Janae in Oklahoma. Okay. Janae. Hi, how are you? Awesome. How Hello. you doing? I'm doing okay. All right, so well, what... um, I have a twin, and my oh. twin and I, we were put the same guys from high school, in high school and college, so we were having fun. We were living it up. At what? the same damn time, huh? Holy. Same time. Were you two, since you, who's the older twin out of the two of y'all? I am. So was she, like, competitive with you? All the time. What? And that was just made the more fun. Who suck dick better, you or her? <laughs> she does. She does. Oh, she, I, she I did. All right. She, yeah. she has something to prove. She was the younger one. But, yeah. But I, don't, I don't understand. Because if, if she's sucking dick, don't the other twin could feel the dick too? I heard that when you punch one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. I don't know. We got yeah. that all the time. When she came, did you tingle? <laughs> She's like, oh shit, she's sucking dick right now. Like, like, oh, I'm like, gagging. If you, if you somewhere else sucking dick, then you, you're like, oh shit, she's sucking dick right now. Like something's God in my damn throat. It. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy this hummus. I'm trying to eat this hummus right now. <laughs> sucking dick, man. She's like, fucking Carlene sucking dick again. <laughs> Can I enjoy a smoothie without a dick in my throat? <laughs> Do you, uh, who comes first? Who, who's, who usually comes first? During this she uh, does. double, and the funny thing is, she was the one that taught me how to suck dick. So, oh I wow, was like she taught me how to suck dick, and I showed her how to ride. You guys are identical, or you're fraternal? We are identical. We sound wow, the same. Wow, that's amazing. Same, have you have you done a mm -hmm. uh, have you done like a have you like done a Yelp review afterwards to be like who's got the better, tighter, deeper pussy? You know what I mean? Or, or do y'all have like identical pussies? Damn. Do identical twins They're have identical, identical dicks? What's that? <laughs> Say that I again. Said, uh, everything about us is identical. The only thing is, wow. I have a mole, she doesn't. You got them all. She doesn't. That's good. That's a good way oh, to fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You can fucking. Yeah, all right. What's your nationality? I'm black. Oh wow! Yeah, Damn. man. Sheesh! Fun. All the stereotypes is out the window. That's fun. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> Where are you from, Iowa? Yeah, what what the fuck? Like an inside joke. Like Oklahoma. we look at each other a certain way. It's like, yep, I did that. We did that. You know, we mm. stay up late at night and just talk about you know how to make things better when we got so. So yeah, you so you hear your sister screaming and moaning and all that too. Damn. They're, to, they're in yeah. the same room. They're just mm -hmm. doing it together. Y'all so so oh. moan the same? We, we sure do. What's your moan sound like? I gotta hear this. I <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 just crashed. I'm not even driving. Uh, 
He woke my dick up a little bit. I'm gonna be real, and I, I can't look at who kid. Like I'm looking off in the corner because my dick got a little. I need hard. more deodorant. I'm looking at my man's girlfriend. <laughs> my underarms is on fire. Right up. <laughs> I'm about to go to Africa. My man's girl's like, don't look at me, motherfucker. All right, I'll look over here. All right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, God is going to accept you immediately in heaven. Yep. Like, it's a wrap. Yo. You got a special you place next to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the best life, yo. Fuck little whatever his name, yo. Fuck that nigga, man. You're living your best life right now, yo. Fuck Damn. that. I gotta meet y'all. <laughs> where, where, where they at, yo? <laughs> let's, let's talk to. Uh, all right. Damn. I love this fucking show, man. What the fuck? All right, let's see. Uh, Marco and Inglewood. Go ahead, Marco. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I'm just chilling with my boy. We got an apartment together, and uh, his girlfriend stays with us, you know, and uh, her mother, the girlfriend's mom was doing kind of bad. So she had to stay with us too, and mm-hmm. you know, yeah. See so you know, she, so we so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so we just watch TV, right? You know, what I'm saying whoopie woo, whatever. You know, what I'm saying I'm on a bean, so I'm looking at mom. So I'm like, damn, she got some big ass titties. You know, what I'm saying she think it's funny. She kind of, she, she's kind of, she's kind of jayish. She's kind of jayish, but you know, she got a big fat ass and shit. I was What's like, jayish? What's that? Yeah. Like she look like Jay Z or you some know, shit. <laughs> Like a camel? Nah, like she was kind of, she was kind of like, kind of like, like post dope fiendish. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> oh like ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I never heard James yeah. before. Both me and Who Kid looking at each other like, do you know? I'm yeah. like, I don't know. Oh. All right, so she's kind of like post dope fiend. All right, go ahead, keep going. You there, Marco? <laughs> we lost them. No, no, Marco, you there? Yeah, dope fiend got him, man. That's that Walking Dead shit. That burner phone, man. <laughs> the burner phone. <laughs> burner phone. <laughs> Fucking dope fiend, man. Metro shit, man. Niggas still be at the Metro PCS too. I saw a long line in Queens the other day. I didn't know that shit was still around, bro. If I didn't have everybody on my family parent plan, I just go get a boost. All that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Honestly, man, like, fuck this shit. And dude. they giving away free iPhone 7s. Yeah. I didn't even know they, they still had them phones. Out. I got an iPhone 6, man. I won't let go. Of, I'm, I want my headphone jack, Yo, man. for real? What are you doing yeah. with it? Can you still take pictures? They be blocking me on shit, bro. Like, they be like, <laughs> oh, you want to use your mic? Nah, fuck you. <laughs> like, buy a 10 or 11, bitch. Like, they be doing me bold as hell, man. I don't even think you could upgrade that phone. If you do, they, it'll fuck it some more. They're like, oh. <laughs> it's so tiny. I, it's like a beeper. It's like Yo, cute. Uh, you taller than me, man. I got fucking. Look at this big ass screen TV I got right here. Who's here. that girl? That's your girl? This is my girl. Let yeah. me see her. Mm. Let, me take, let me take a gander at her. I showed you my prostitute. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. I showed you my toot. It's like, uh, well, let me go to the photo in there. There you go. Well, this. Something, something. Oh, man, a big ass fucking phone. Hey, yeah. oh, she's thick. Yeah, she's like, uh, she's covering her face because she knows that you're gonna show me. She's like, this motherfucker's gonna show the world. All right, we're gonna talk. To, we're gonna talk to some. Uh, who kids? Who kids? The captain save a hoe. Who kid will fucking try to turn a prostitute into like a? Yeah. You don't. It's not worth it. Come on. Don't have me in Look, a situation where you're. About I'm gonna give you some things. money. You know. Yeah. My prostitute, I tried to talk. I was trying to talk her out of getting like work done. I'm like, look, we wouldn't have called you if you had work done on yourself. <laughs> like, well, you literally would have lost money. I don't want work done. Prostitutes, I wouldn't like stop. You know, that's that's their like you know career. I know, but they don't. They have this weird idea of like what men want, and like they're always like, since their body is their shit, they're mm-hmm. always like trying to update it. It's like, nah, just fucking leave your titties, leave your ass, leave your fucking nose. Like that's why we called you. Cause what is the word? Where is all this coming from, though? Like, is it from other women, or is it like a lifestyle in LA? It's a lifestyle. Yeah, they're they're comparing themselves to other whores, and I'm like, yo, (laughs) hey, guess what? (laughs) Whores aren't known for their fashion. (laughs) There's literally like an insult. Like, you dress like a whore, you know? Like, (laughs) so like, 
maybe you shouldn't look to other prostitutes for fucking fashion. That's all I'm screaming. They need to, I don't know, they need to stop that shit. Just look normal, man, because. Yeah, I saw you, she look like a thick, cute little girl next door. Like, yeah. keep that shit. Rock with that shit, girl. I mean, uh, let's go good, to, man. Let's go to Jamal in D, Jamal in D.C. Oh, Marco's back with the rest of his story. Mar, uh, Jamal, go ahead. All right, man, so what up with y'all? I That's got the captain paper hole story, man. One of my motherfucking frat brothers, he is the captain saver hole. I'm talking about he he has the spawn cape of captain saver hole. <laughs> <laughs> spawn cape, <laughs> man. We we got we got the whole set of this, this um, Howard homecoming groove. So that shit already crazy. We about to get it cracking. One of the chicks happened to be his like girl sister or something she in the middle of going giving it up like back shot sucking it off and everything like he like oh man like nah nah don't don't like you know don't mess that's that's my folks he's like well she about to get this dick so <laughs> I don't know what you fit to do but she, man, he, he wears that cape now what do you do? Just sit in the corner and cry while it happened? Like, no, no, he just like you know that real like awkward ass stare, like the like oh, when somebody man. when somebody cut you off in the in the self checkout line and you know you was about to beat them to the line and then you kind of had to give them that stare like oh, what the shit. fuck? It was just one of them real uncomfortable ass stares, yo. But we laughed the shit out to this day though because somebody ended up like wifing her for a little bit, but. That's a whole other story. <laughs> that's yeah. That's the one. Th like I, like I would expect. Like if this is the one. Like if if y'all ran a bust on a chick and be mm -hmm. like, I'd I'd probably want to know about that. She's like, hey man, by the way, we we tossed her up. People and then fall, people fall in love with the with the set out all the time. I know like, my homeboy used to do that shit, man. He would, he mm -hmm. he like, but his whole ass would go first and then block the door, and so we'd steal her shit. You know what I mean? Like, all right, motherfucker, that's your girl now. Fucking find her fucking pager. I'll never understand that. Like, how you gonna like wife somebody like that? All your friends banged. I don't understand that shit. To be fair, he did. He did probably really really well though. Oh yeah, maybe that. that like, I don't know. Top top I, makes the world go round. So shit. Look, and I'm, I've said this before. Like, I don't, like, if I find a girl that likes that shit and she did it just because she liked it, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm I'm fucking, I'm disgusting, too. Like, I don't, like, I ain't gonna. So you don't mind having a 10 dick minimum If she got finessed into it, then I'm like, you a dumbass. Like, I can't fucking <laughs> deal with you. But if she was like, yeah, fuck yeah, I love dick. I'm like, all right, fair enough. I love pussy. There it is. That being said. <laughs> I've, that's this is all hypothetical. I haven't had that happen yet, but I'm just logically I'm saying that I, I might get in my fucking feelings. You know what I mean? <laughs> in a fucking fight with her, go well, go fuck your ten guys then. Go fuck your ten guys, you fucking whore. You promise you never bring that up? Shut up, whore. <laughs> ten dicks. Ten fucking dicks. Man, that's eighty inches of dick you just sucked. I hope you're fucking happy. Die on that shit. Get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> I don't know how people could do that, man. I don't know. Is that, is, I wonder if you could get a girl to really admit that they suck like 10 dicks at the same time on this show. Well, call up. I will not judge you. <laughs> Who kid will? <laughs> I ain't going to judge you. If she did it already, shit. Yeah. I'm the one that stops it before it happens. Hey, guys, <laughs> stop it. Come on. Put your dick away. You Come play on. too much, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I Wait was, up, man. Wait, I, hold up, man. Hey, they hated me, man. I oh, bet man. you they fucking hated your ass. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was like, I tried, I talked two of them out of it, and then I, <laughs> I tried to kick it to one, too. But then, you know, then, you know, the head guy came in, and it was over. Once the head, you know, once the head rapper comes in, it's over. You can't really yeah, stop you're that. Yeah, you're like, it's okay, it. it's done. But the minions, nah, she ain't sucking the fucking the minions, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's tough. Well, it's, yeah, look, I get it. It's but like you can't stop nobody from their own shit. And if they want to fucking, 
if they want to blow the roadie, then what are you gonna fucking do, man? But I think I think they should get the the tour pass. Like you know, some women want to like experience the whole tour life. You know, you fuck everybody, you suck because yeah. it's just like they're in town at one time. And yeah. Then, they ain't slipper, like it's yo. When we went to Colorado, dude, it was like some small ass town. Like yeah. they was just running bust I, 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 I swooped up a fucking like Native American Indian chick and just damn. Yeah, I took her solo, and I just got my herpes test back too. Cause Shit. the first half of the tour, I thought I had herpes, yeah. and I was waiting to get the blood work done. They're like, "You are clear." I was like, "Yes, see ya." Yep, go back in. All right, Marco is back, Marco. You was telling us yeah, how. Uh, all right, so you was telling us you, your girl. Let's let me speed everybody up. Um, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You and your girl was staying together. Her mom had to move in because she's an ex dope fiend and didn't have her shit together. But she got some big ass titties. Go ahead. No, actually, it was my my roommate, my home with my roommate. His girlfriend stayed with us, and oh, you know, her her, okay. her mom came through. Yeah. Her okay, mom was right. coming over, you know, live, living with us and shit. Yeah, she's a little bummy. Like, I know this bitch, like, smoked crack, like, in the day. Like, you know what I'm saying? She might be a post, post crackhead, but, you know what I'm saying? She had ass and some titties. So I was like, fuck it. I was on a bean. So, I, you know, I took her in a room. I gave her the massage, you know what I'm saying? That's my game. You know what I'm saying? I, I got, I'm hooking it up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got the clothes off in, like, 10 minutes, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting my finger in her ass and her pussy. I'm bowling bobbing a bitch's ass, you know, ass, fingers in her ass and her pussy, you know what I'm saying? I'm wiggling. And, um, and then, you know what I'm saying? The bitch, she started, she started, yeah, man, she started moaning hella loud. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I just stick it a pipe. I just stick it a pipe. I don't give a fuck. The bitch is loud as fuck. So we get knocked through the door like, hey. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not opening the door, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then you know, I'm just hearing whispering and all kind of shit. And I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers is out there listening. So, you know, me, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to open the door. Like, yeah, I'm fucking your mom. Yeah, I'm fucking your girl's mom. And you know what I'm saying? I went, I went, she, I she went sat back there and my, took it? Yeah, she sat there. I mean, she didn't give a fuck. She, we was smoking, too. We was high as fuck. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, the weed. Don't do something different to the older folk, you know what I'm saying? They get stupid through this. She was just not giving a fuck. I'm like, yeah, she's not giving Damn. a fuck. And, you know, I'm just going back, you know, so I go back to smashing, and, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep the door cracked so they can hear the shit even more, you know what I'm saying? I think, I think it was turning, I think turning, the, turning the daughter on because about 10 minutes later, she wouldn't go fuck, she wouldn't go fuck, you know, my roommate and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know. She's probably trying to fuck the happen. shame away. She was like, oh, if I just fuck this guy, I don't have to think about my mom getting dick for rent. Yeah, she probably thought she was paying rent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was getting thrashed. Yeah. Real. Man, that's what I love about this show. It's like just when you think that you're like disgusting, they're like, bro, they're I'm, like, we'll show you disgusting. All right, all right, we got the best callers. No one beats our callers. Bro, there's no li your lines are like, it's just, there's no lines here. It's like, holy shit! Like, where is this guy from? He's from D.C. Where's he from? He was from Inglewood. Yeah, Long man. Beach, Inglewood. Hey, gangster out there. Yeah, they keeping that shit trill next to the airport. Let's go to uh, Crackhead Mom. Let's go to Anonymous. <laughs> Yo, what's that, brother? Man, man this you got it. Like 20 some years ago, maybe 98, 99, something like that. We caught this badass smoker. Like, we had the room chilling. We got the bitch, we were about to the bust it down and all of that. And uh, so we started calling niggas to bring him in. Like, bro, I'm going to charge you 20 bucks to come through and knock a bitch down or whatever. <laughs> well, my homeboy come with another one of his homeboys. This motherfucker walk in and this is mom's, bro. <laughs> 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 Wait, hold up. So he's at a, he's at a bus stop, and he brings a, another girl shows up, and it's one of one of the dude's moms. Yeah, bro. We we run the bus stop on this dude's mom, bro. Like we what? like twenty. She by like thirty five, thirty six, something like that. And, uh, what wait bro, did when did he find out? And was he just like he fuck it in the room? Like we got the double bed, the hotel room, and shit. Everybody knocking it down <laughs> on the bed, and she just laying on the bed, ass naked. Now she fine as fuck though. You know what I'm right. saying? And um, he walks in, this dude just breaks down crying, bro. Like, no. No, I. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably kill myself. I <laughs> feel like, for real, man. Yeah, like, I've been like, in some weird situations with my mom, but, like, I've never yeah. walked in on a fucking bus, though, where, like, she's a star. That would really fucking crush me. I can't even see that. Bro, it's like, <laughs> he started dude, crying. Bro, that's, why like, that's why I'm anonymous with it, bro. Cause, uh, yeah, I what did y'all do today? 
what did y'all do to? Uh, did you try to console him, or did you yeah. guys laugh, or like what did I hop? Like yeah, what the fuck y'all did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I'd already bust, so I was good. But uh, it was over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, here, man. Sorry about everybody fucking your mom. Here's some pancakes from IHOP. Yeah, for and right. you see him all the time. Man, you see him all the time. Have you tried the boysenberry yeah. syrup? Oh my yeah, god, he didn't commit suicide. No, bro. I ain't seen his mom's in a while, but you know what I'm saying. As good as that head was back in the day, I would not run across that bitch again. Yeah. <laughs> It's probably it's like it's only gotten better. Did she give like slow head like the moms? Like was it like slow and you looking at you and no, you looking at her no eyes? Gag reflex, bro. Oh, so many moms, man. He should have been proud of her. <laughs> 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 God, I leave it. Oh man, I think oh man, I'm Menendez, my moms, yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the shotgun ASAP. You kill everybody in that place. Shoot yourself my mom last. Where I came out of yeah. it. Shoot her right in the pussy. <laughs> like that white guy right in the pussy. Peace. Eight and eight seven four two three three four five. Who is uh, sitting in? We were just talking about like mothers going in, family members going in. This is weird. This is like wild, yo. Like I didn't know moms really get down like that. I thought they supposed to cook for you pancakes. I don't know. Like I don't know apple pie. You hug her. I'm going to school, mom. My old man got evicted, and um, <laughs> what? Yeah, and so he had to come stay with me. And like I was a teenager, like my mom had moved out, so we just took over the we just took over the rent payments. It was like yeah. it was like government houses, so it was pretty cheap. And um, we was finna run a bus though, and I was like, "Yo, pop, you went in on this?" And he was what? like, "Nah, man, I'm good." Like. <laughs> He was like, that's where he drew the line. I was like, you're a disgusting motherfucker. This is where you draw the fucking line on this? But she was all talk anyway, so I, we kicked her out. She was like, ah, mm. oh, you don't know what I'm going to do to a dick. I'm like, well, let's find out. Yo, yo yeah. pop. She was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, get out. <laughs> did all that fucking talking. All you, you, wasted, you wasted two hours of our fucking time doing all that talking, drinking all our shit, and then it's time to go. And you're like, nah, nah, nah. I was like, all right, fucking say a walking, bitch. Yeah. And I should have never saw her again. Somebody on the DM said they, they had sex with the mom, daughter, and the daughter was pregnant. So it's Damn, like, and like the kid. Three generations. Though. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Holy <laughs> shizer. It's really beautiful, man. Congratulations. So the next generation got a piece of the dick, too. Yep. <laughs> Ain't even out yet. Mom, daughter, and kid. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real baby shower. I yeah, tell you. straight he, up. He came, he came in the pussy too. Shower her with some dick. I hope the baby was turned around, like you know, with the feet is like. Dick, dick, dick. It's not like like a breech birth. Nah, a straight head. <laughs> Let's go to Shaquana. Shit, man. Hey y'all. Okay, so this wasn't a relative of mine. This was um my I cheated. I was cheating on my man with his cousin for like a couple of years, and his cousin told my man, and we, you know, all ended up having a threesome one night. Mm. But my man got mad in the middle of the threesome and just made it all awkward, and... um wonder why. Just, I mean... <laughs> you probably said some saying, shit like, oh, do it like last time, and he was like, what? Huh, what? Last time? Because me and his cousin had been, like, fucking for so long that we both were kind of, like, comfortable with each other, so we knew what each other liked, and I don't think he liked to see that, but I don't know, uh, in yeah. my young mind, this is when I was young, you know, in my young mind, I'm like, look, you was cheating, I was cheating, I won, you know, I'm fucking both of y'all, we gonna go ahead, we gonna do this one night, get it over with, but he just mm. started acting weird, and like, to this day, they still argue and fight about, well, his cousin isn't mad, but like, he's still mad about that shit, like, they fought, they falling out, everything, it's crazy. And you still with your man, too? So? No, 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 we broke up. Oh. I wonder, I wonder why that didn't work, man. That's, That's too weird, bad. yo. I mean, it's it's too bad. Bad. he had something he, special. He was on drugs. He ended up being on oh. drugs and, and all oh. types of stuff. So I had to be wrong. That's where like, she drew the line. hood stories. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you continue to keep fucking while he was angry? Or maybe that, that could be it, too. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you stop? Or yeah, did, it was a lie. That, that whole relationship was just, like, very toxic. And it, it mm. was, yeah. We was young. We she was, got deep um, with it. It's it toxic. <laughs> It is. Shaquana, you were supposed to pretend like you ain't never seen this dick before. You're yeah. like, oh, wow, this is crazy. Holy shit. But his, yeah. cousin told, 
him. His cousin what? told him and at that point I was like, Yeah, oh. I fucked him. Okay, so what? Oh, okay, all right. Oh, so so he told him so the way that you thought the best way to fucking solve this problem was like, we should probably just all have a threesome. Maybe you should have just been no, a generic. I mean, threesome. honestly, this we were popping pills around that time, and I was right. at it. It was, it was just, it just happened. It just happened. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I don't fuck him. I'm fucking you. You ain't leaving. He won't fuck. We just all gonna have a threesome. This is everybody fantasy, whatever. Blah blah blah. And we had a threesome, but it was just, it just turned out to be just weird. Yeah, it's like his dick did you in front of him. That's very traumatic, you know. No, no, not at all. It was just, you know, it it was just, but it, we didn't even get done because he he started acting weird. He left out the room. He was like, was yo, I weird. gotta put my dick in there with your dick in the same mouth. No, like yeah, you know, some some guys don't like no, dick he, tipping. He, you know, what I saying? guess he can take it. I don't know. I mean, I feel him. I guess, but I mean, we were all grown. We made a decision. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It, well, you yeah. have fun. Well, thank Shit. you. All right, there. That, that, uh, she had fun, right? Shit. I don't know if I could do that. Like, you know, you have a girl suck two dicks at the same time. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Oh, wait, sucking two dicks at the same time? And then she got, yeah, both in her mouth and then they're touching. I don't, don't touch I and don't then need like, all that. And then, you know, what if you pee or some shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm, the pee that, uh, I, I don't know. Man. I don't even I don't even need pee for it to bum me out to be all the way real with you. Is that, yo. Who kid? Are you wearing? Who kid has the most iced out necklace I've ever seen? Is that the fucking? Is that the Haiti? Yeah. It's a, I'm, I'm why is that worth more than Haiti? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is your chain worth more than the country? Jesus Christ! I don't know if they should be proud of you or mad. Like for real, dog. We not doing good over here. You I ain't going to Haiti with this. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Stayed right here. If y'all can see that shit, it's like a dinner plate. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a fucking dinner plate. It was just ice, just iced out shit. Oh. Everywhere. The whole corners. Oh. God damn. All right. Hey, hey, look, Haiti, here we go. Er- <laughs> Ernso. Hold, hold on a second. Uh, Ernso, you got who kid? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so I got a story when I went yeah. to Haiti. Uh, All right. Fucking, I had these prostitutes. Uh, paid like a buck thirty American dollars. The two of them were sisters, and it was like mm. a foursome, not a threesome. It was three of them and too? me in the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what? and uh, the shit that's even the shit that's crazy because we was drinking uh, Haitian rum and shit, you know, eating, and we oh, broke the bag. Shit. <laughs> he got a pair of sisters for two dollars in Haiti. <laughs> Do you know how many sisters you can get with your medallion? <laughs> Oh, man. So we broke the bed. After after we broke the bed, um, this is the crazy part. My mom knows the hotel owner because she's like connected in Haiti and shit. So after mm-hmm. we broke the bed, she she rashed the hotel owner and was talking about how cheap the bed was. So they came and replaced the bed. <laughs> what? And, uh, we fin- yeah, we, they replaced the bed free of charge. Uh, what else? We went back doing what we was doing. I went through like three condoms. Uh, Wait, hold up. So you I, broke the bed, called your mom, and was like, Mom, the bed broke while I was trying to fuck yep, all these s- yep. sisters. Yep. She, she For a can of Coke apiece. I love she this the, guy. She was, the, she was the one that set it up, because in Haiti, you can't just fuck with anybody in Haiti. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, yeah, because you end up like with shit missing. My, like your yeah, kidney. Yeah, I, I had to get my rocks off. You know what I'm saying? So she was the one that set that whole shit up. Your mom sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, what a great yeah. mom. Yeah, she's, she's real. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Shout her out. It's a pop play. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's making, he's making Haiti sound really fucking appealing. A dollar? Uh, Jesus Christ. Man, I would do it. Like, first flight. I know. I just like a good deal. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Sometimes I'll just buy some shit because it's on sale. I don't even need the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two sisters waiting for you? I just make the other one just sit in the corner and suck her thumb. I <laughs> fuck the other one just for fun. Suck your thumb. Keep that shit Sister in there. Sister love is serious out there. Hashtag that. All right, let's go to uh. <laughs> Damn. Mom called and complained. <laughs> and you know the legit shit is, she was probably right. <laughs> it was probably a shitty bed. <laughs> That's fucking wild as Yo. fuck, dog. All right, thanks, man. Th- thanks, Ern- Ern- So Let's go to BB in LA. <laughs> oh man, I lo- we I lost the swingers over next. Oh, the swingers. Uh, oh, there was no. a swinger that, but we lost them. There's so many fucking stories. <laughs>
<laughs> the who kid, when you come on, it's like magic. I'm just like, hey, I don't say, know, man. tell us something fucking awful, and then they call up. The phone lines blow up. I don't know why specialists don't listen to our show, like like Harvard students and shit like that, to see the human fucking, like the way humans react and act and have these backstories. Like, Yo, I go to parties and people try to crazy. tell me how people are. I'm like, you don't know how fucking no, people you don't are, nigga. <laughs> You, you should be like, you don't, you don't know, nigga. You, you don't know, know nothing. Yeah, I have to say nigga it's like that. But you say it. <laughs> I say it, the whole fucking meaning gets lost, and so now we're fucking arguing about that. I'll say you don't know Buster. A lot of people don't know Rude Jude is black, man. He is I'm a nigga. Fucking white. <laughs> All my friends thought you were Italian. black. Yeah. Surprise, yeah. motherfucker. Your face, they're like, oh shit, it's a fucking Confederate flag, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm Italian, so we, <laughs> we got here after all that happened. <laughs> I'd like to point that out. Not a lot of blacks Yo. with Italian last names. It's a deep voice Because we man. got here late. Whatever, man. You get the pass. I mean, we can say it off air. Say, call me a nigga. It's all good. Say it off air, though. Nah, man. I, I remember <laughs> fucking Russell Simmons came in and yeah. said that to me. I was like, bro, don't call me shit. I can't call you back. <laughs> you think that makes me feel special? Doesn't. Because, <laughs> you know, it was, you know, how Russell Simmons is. Yeah, he's like, he's like, nigga like it's fun. And he's all like, he's all like playing chess with my brain. Like, nah, let's just cut that Whatever. off right now. <laughs> fucking. Uh, <laughs> Let's go to J Rock. J Rock, you on air? Or oh, excuse me, uh, BB, you on air? What up, dog? What up, man? You good? What's going on? I'm about to give one up you on the uh, tour life story. Who okay. kid? The hard knock life. The hard knock life tour. Hell yeah, she was amazing. All right, so we had already got all the way across the country, but once we got to Bakersfield, California, I mm. pulled a nice little joint outside of the building, right? And we had the buses, you know, for the artists. I'm not going to give you which squad because you'll know mm -hmm. who it was. Yeah. But it was a, a mom's, like a Lola Falana type, you know what I'm saying, with the secret, secret, you know, like see-through negligee type joint on with mm -hmm. the son and the daughter, right? Mm -hmm. She got on the bus and knocked down like 14 people back to back to back to back to back, right? Oh, wait a minute. I think finished. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After she was finished, right? She was just chilling, and your fav one of your one of your favorite uh, A and R's in the music industry was walking up. And I'm not gonna tell you what artist this was. This shit was funny in the motherfucker, man. Like he stopped me. I was about to give him the info on what happened. Like she had already knocked down four people. Like nah, to like leave her alone. And he like nah, don't tell him, don't tell him, right? He like don't tell him. <laughs> She got on and it was over. It was over. <laughs> it was over. <laughs> I think I remember that, that that woman because I think her husband came and picked her up like five in the morning. Can you imagine the nah, children? Like she, what nah, were the nah, kids? Nah. She stayed on the bus like two, she three stayed. cities. She went to San Diego and oh, LA. Man, that's a different like, one. Wait, hold up, BB. Yeah. BB, like what'd she do? Just send the kids home in a in a cab or some shit? Nah, no Uber she just back left them standing there, like sitting outside, like standing on the street, like you know, waiting for the uh, for her to come off the bus. That's and why I didn't have a girlfriend for like 10 years, because my mom did fucked up shit. <laughs> like, Damn. I can't even imagine this shit. You imagine it tearing your mom ass and you know control. Let me say, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. When we got to Virginia, <laughs> you know where Virginia is, right? It was 15 yeah. to 1. When we checked in the hotels, they was waiting outside, sitting on the cars. When we walked when the we kids into were the hotel, when the, buses, when the buses pulled up to the hotels, all the artist buses from the Hard Knock Life Tour, 15 to 1. Before they can even get our names, we was check, throwing our bags in, taking 15, <laughs> like five chicks at a time, into the room, knock them down. Everybody that was working on the tour. Hell that was working yeah. with artists. Not even, even knowing no names or nothing, like not even introducing yourself until after the fact. <laughs> Tennessee, oh, hey, listen, 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 listen. Shit. Tennessee State University, it was sold out, right? So it was like 500 girls outside trying to get tickets when we pulled up the sound check. So you can imagine the kind of chaos that it was. God, yeah, that's wow. like a all girl, a all girl black college. Pull up, uh, let's uh, let's play Hard Knock Life, uh, and we'll t we'll take a break and come back with more Who Kid. Yes, please. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Remember that lady too. <laughs> uh, listen, you probably tried to save her. Uh, what about saving, your kids? I ain't saving an old ass lady though. <laughs> Let them get their pussy, you know. It's like get their pussy popping or whatever they call I, it. I'm hanging up on BB. Uh, how how'd she look? She was like an old lady. Oh. She was like 45. I was 46. <laughs> she fucked everybody though. 
<laughs> came like a fucking cow. There was liquid everywhere in that bed. That whole bed, like the mattress, <laughs> had to change the mattress. I didn't even know a human could. Oh, I thought she meant you. She was like, moo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she came like a cow. Like it was like was like yeah. a it's like a. What do you call that shit in the hood that they open and the water fly everywhere? Oh, uh, like a uh, hydrant. fire hydrant. Yeah, yeah, it's like like coming out on the bed, the pillows. Like man, and she loved it. And her and her husband came at five in the morning to pick her up. The kids, dog. And I know the kids was hungry. There's no way you would be fucking <laughs> for fucking three, four hours. Your child is not hungry for a little White Castle burger or something. You man. know half the people are laughing. The other half are crying at, the, at the tragic, at the, that tragic story. Yeah, it's horrifying. Girl. Like, I'm starving and my mother's ass is up getting hit up. They're like... By a stranger, mom. By, by can you stop handler. sucking dick? It's cold out here. <laughs> I want a burger. Like I want to eat. <laughs> they didn't even give them like a fucking Game Boy to play with or no shit. They just was like sit out here and wait. It's not even you know like when there's a fire, they'll have like a female firefighter come and console the children yeah. and shit, put a blanket on them. There was no, sh- nothing like that. They just had to sit on the on the curb and wait. But who's worse, the fifteen guys and the or the mom? The mom. It's not. It's not up to the fifteen guys to look out for the kids' best interest. But the fifteen guys see the kids though. They're looking out the window. Yeah, like. it's shitty. But like, I'm not saying they're fucking. I'm. I'm not saying that they're <laughs> fucking great people. I'm just saying, like, it's ultimately, it's the bring mother the kid that in. it's cold it's, outside. Bring yeah. the kid in or something. I don't know what's more traumatic, having to hear your mom fucking moan or just like sit out, just sit outside. I probably would want to sit outside. I wouldn't want to be in there. And be like, look at like some fucking ugly ass, not e- can't even write a rhyme ass motherfucker about to get some pussy. Like for real, you fucking him? He's the tag alongs, tag along. I don't even want to think of my mom coming. You know, this is disgusting. She, she, your dad busted all on her to make you. Yeah, I don't really want to cream think pie. Of, I, don't know, ass. I asked my mom like, when the last time you came, she was like, I don't know, forty years ago. I was like, what? <laughs> Shit, that shit's dry to the fucking pancake, yo. That shit's, I don't ask my mom like, none of that shit. I don't want to know. that Dubai pussy, man. <laughs> Desert. Uh, hit, hit him with that song. We got Who Kid here. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Sorry. Hey, just, uh, I don't care. He'll come back. Is that his phone? Yeah. Fucking Who Kid. Jesus Christ. He's like, I'm going to leave and just turn my phone on. Uh, get, Mark has been on hold for a minute. I don't think we're gonna have time to get to him. Let's see. I cut him loose. Hey, today hey, seven four two three three four five. Let's go to T in Virginia Beach. Talking about family affairs. Yeah. What up, T? For real. Hey, what's up, man? You on? Um, my story. Thanks. My story is I was, it was back in the day. I was working security at a, at a club. My buddy, he was a bartender. And I used to work the door, so I always got the heads up on the two I thought was ready to get down. One night, mom and daughter come up to the to the door, and immediately I got the vibe that mom is ready. So he saw the young lady, her daughter, and he was you know trying to get with the daughter. So I was like, hey, I think later on we can take both of them home. So we get back to their house later on that night, and we get in the hot tub. So all four of us in the hot tub, but unfortunately, the daughter was kind of acting like a prude, you know, so mom, she was with it, like, right there in front of her daughter. She was giving me a head right in front of her daughter. I was like, was it? no way. <laughs> so did, did you eventually the daughter, yeah, well, eventually the daughter kind of warmed up, you know, but mom's was like, let's go inside. And we couldn't even get through the kitchen, and mom had me on the kitchen floor. Damn. Like, what, what was the daughter work. doing during this? Was she watching, or did she just well, like go to her well, room well, and cry into a pillow? Okay. So eventually, they they made it to her room, and my man was like, he was kind of wishing that we'd have just ran a threesome on mom, so she was she was mom was awesome. Yeah. And, oh, so your you know, your man just was like dry dick, like damn, and then fucking you got to smash the mom. He 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 smashed, but like like I said, she was kind of a prude and kind of inexperienced. That's what he said. Yeah. But like it was me and mom was getting down right there on the kitchen floor and they had to walk past us to get to her bedroom and everything. <laughs> Gee, I wonder I why was she like, wasn't in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. 
I gotta watch mom get piped down. All right, I can't take any more of these fucking stories. All right, uh, give me the fucking what would you do music and dump the rest of the callers. Uh, Paul, P, Chance, Chris, Steve, everybody else. Shout out to y'all, but we gotta move. Fucking lay it on me when you're ready. I'll wait. All right, let me we, get ready. we can use some silence. It's cool. Give him some dead air. Hey there, how you doing? Hold up, man. I'm trying to fucking do this thing, man. You just walked out in the middle of it. Now we doing what would you do? Uh, this fucking... Who kid has no respect for my fucking show? He just literally fucking walked in with the camera, man. You know what show it's not. What a dick. <laughs> hey, man, you having a hard time in life? You need some, you need some answers? You need to talk to somebody? Well, lucky for you, there's two people. There's me and who kid, and we're going to give you advice. Hell yeah, nigga. Girl problems? Who kid's got a gang of girls? Hell yeah. Guy problems? We're both guys. We know how we think. Hey. Problems. Pause. Problems at the... How's that pause? You think it's a two, we're two guys, and... That's... And we don't... How's that gay? I don't know. You know, Quit when you're black, about everything dick. is gay. Jesus Christ, when man. You're black, everything is gay. I know. It's that pause game had turned everybody into fucking closet homosexuals. All y'all did was think about dick the whole fucking time. They're like, oh, I'm about to have a hot dog. Pause. <laughs> like, it's just a fucking hot dog for fuck's sakes. You know, it's a black thing, man. I know. I'm just I just saying. told you I was running in fucking uh, Home Depot from Broom. <laughs> so you know, if you say anything that looks like a dick, it's pause. I'm just saying you just have to, th for for you just have to think about dick a lot to, it doesn't even cross my mind, is my point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking about 20 other things besides you know another might, man's dick. That might be a psychological <laughs> problem we have. If you say anything, the dick pops up. Like, I don't know. Is that, you think Lil Nas X goes through that? I think, I, well, yeah, definitely. He's thinking about dick right now. Yeah. Hell yeah. When's he not thinking about not dick? pausing. No. He's like, rewired <laughs> forward. <laughs> He's like a dirty VCR. Yep. <laughs> no pause. He's pro homo. He's no not no homo. Mm-hmm. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345. Call up if you got any problems. You got Who Kid and myself. Good luck. We're going to fucking solve your problems. <laughs> the two of us. Fuck yeah. We got you handled. No one's calling because you're here. Come on, guys. Who gets not that bad? <laughs> Give them a chance. Literally, when you came in the room, people just started hanging up. They're like, fuck that. We do not want who kids advice. <laughs> guys. To, come on with the community college for this shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which which community college? Queensborough College. Nigga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. QBCC. All right, now we go. Here we go. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. We're gonna play a song. Mm -hmm. Come back with what would Jude and who do? Mm -hmm. Let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. <laughs> What would you do? Oh. Need advice? Call us up right now. <laughs> now. Eat, 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 shade 45. What would you do? You do. Shade, shade 45. All right, we got to keep this quick because I got DJ Godfather's way back mix. And then we got the news. All right, who okay. good? Let's you, do it. You ready to save some fucking lives? Save some lives out there. Some losers. Uh, Let's go to D. Will in Riverdale. D. Will. Yo, yo. What's up, man? What's going on, dude, man? Look, my my question or my uh, my topic I needed advice on was uh, and not to be a loser, who could, but I, I no, needed I'm some advice I'm sorry. to get more. Man, time. hurry up, dog! You know Just mean? what's your problem? I said we got fucking ten minutes, and you're already like fucking forty seconds into it. I, I don't know what's going I was, on. I was joking. All right, go ahead. What's your problem? <laughs> oh, you hurt his feelings. Yo, he dog. He, look what you did, man. His problem was he was he wanted to know how to get pussy without having to pay for it. First off, you need to harden up a little bit. 
All right, because you're sensitive. Mad sensitive, man. Mad sensitive. I don't know if you're gonna call me a loser. Look, man. Here, I'm gonna. I'm still gonna answer your fucking shit. <laughs> Lower your standards, man. Your dick doesn't know how fucking hot the chick is. It just knows that you're getting some fucking pussy. Yeah. Like, of course. lower your standards. Yeah, biology, nigga. Yeah, man, just go fucking. You sound like a brother. Go get a fat white girl. I did. Go to go to a nursing program. I did. Someone training to be a nurse. I did that too. Look, yeah. Look for a Sunfire or some shit parked <laughs> out there. Sunfire, sunfire. <laughs> an Altima, or something like that, and then just like wait outside and fucking. <laughs> I hate that fucking car. Pull, pull a fat white chick, dude. Like, that's, that's your jump off point. And then you build from there. You build from there. I can't believe he hung up, man. Yo, he was really fucking. He was a. Yeah. How dare you? I, I have never. Like, <laughs> just when you, you said loser, and that's what really triggered his ass. He's like, oh, I'm not a loser. I always say loser, though. It's like a joke. I, yeah, whatever, man. dude. Like, some people just can't laugh at themselves. All right. Jesus. Um, eight at eight seven four two three three four five. You probably have pimples or something. Um, yo, man, some of these are fucking crazy. Uh, Olivia, <laughs> this is wild. Uh, <laughs> it's unhelpable. It, just by the way, I had a talk with John. Like John, we're tra- we're trying to have fun sex stories. Don't fucking talk about. No one wants to hear about co- children cold outside with while their mom is getting bustos ran on them. By rap crews. This one's just as dark. Here it is. Olivia, go ahead. Oh, man. Hi. Um, my name's Olivia from Chicago. I uh, just moved to Wisconsin and I came home to visit a friend. And uh, he's a pretty aggressive guy. Um, and he told me that he stabbed his dog three times, that a girl left at his house. He's got two dogs. One of them says the other one is the girl's dog that she just abandoned and left with him. And he was like, yeah, my mom's going to be home soon. Uh, do you want to take this 90-pound dog to the vet? And I was like, I don't really want to deal with this situation right now. This is what you do, uh, leave. What the hell? Leave. Just get the fuck going. I don't, that's, that's not a, this is not someone you want in your life. He's smacking the dogs up? He stabbed a dog because his girl dumped him. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's really when did this happen? more complicated than that. But he's definitely, you know, he has, like, some built up anger hey fucking dumbass clearly, listen to me you're, you're like quit making up yeah the motherfucker's stabbing animals man that's weird yeah i'm gone i, I left <laughs> so, uber out of there you yeah the she over here, here like still considering like oh i guess we uh, can still be friends nah we can't be friends he's stabbing fucking people's pets it wasn't uh-huh. like he was like a he's getting attacked by a dog and was like no nah, get off me cujo yeah. like nah it's fucking yeah like so he's <laughs> Oh, just strictly going. a friend of mine, and yeah. when I yeah, needed a place going. to live, I was yeah. living in his townhouse for seven months for free. It was, he was yeah. living there, so it's kind of yeah. like someone who helped me maybe out. Maybe you should stop there. being a loser too, then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, like, maybe you now. should. I, hey, I was joking. I'm, You're I'm dripping with loser time. juice. It's seven months for free. Like what the fuck? Like God. How much credit card debt did you have? Jesus Christ. I actually, I don't have any debt, but I do have my own. Yeah, because you're living for free. (laughs) Fuck it. Jesus. Yo, stack chips. Pay your own way. Get the fuck out of there. Please tell me you were 12 when you were living for free. How old old were you? Uh, 27. Oh, my God. You're not even 16. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, man. For real. I got got my excuses for dog stabbers. All right. Good for you. Fuck out of there. Good for you, Olivia. Olivia. All right, thanks, Jude. Fuck out of there. Lost and turned out. She's just, like still talking to us. Like she's supposed to be leaving while she's talking to us. <laughs> she's like, and but the you know, I'm like what? Nah. I mean, there's what, cer- there's I mean, certain shit dogs. where you're just like, nah, man. <laughs> like I don't even like dogs, but like I, don't, I love dogs. I don't yeah. like none of that shit going down. I don't like dogs, but like you start stabbing a dog. I'm like, yo, dude, I gotta nah, go. A like, dog is like another human, yo. That no, it's is, a fucking dog. No, it's a human. It's that a fucking dog. <laughs> if it was a human that had thumbs and be like be able to reason and shit. My nigga come back to me. That's a human, yo. You know what I'm saying? My <laughs> girl come back. What the fuck? Don't yo, stop feeding him, see if he comes around. <laughs> Motherfucker likes whoever feeds him. We're like, oh, that's, that's. I don't know. I love my dog, man. I hate hearing shit like that. Like, you can't stab a fucking animal. You know what I'm saying? You can stab my ex-wife, but 
<laughs> He's a fucking beast, but you know what I'm saying? Be careful, man. You know we got some fucking we got some wild ones on this bitch. Shit, I ain't trying to be careful. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Sarah in San Francisco. Sarah. Sarah. Damn, we losing everybody. Damn. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe it was because who kid low-key tried to have his wife stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> and that bummed out the woman for some reason. I don't know. Let's see. It was just joking. Satire, y'all. Fucking, we're just being satirical. It's just <laughs> jokes, yeah, man. You can't just... even joke anymore. On, 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 what's what's up, man? Uh, Jay in Atlanta. Jay, what up, though? What up, though? What, what up, though? <laughs> Sit chilling, man. I'm originally from Detroit, yo. But check this, man. What would y'all do in this situation, man? I was fucking this uh this married chick, man, and her husband is a police officer, dog. He's like a sheriff and shit. Uh-oh. And one night she hit me up and was like, yo, he out on the little sting. He ain't going to be home for a couple hours. Why don't you come through and smash? So I'm like, shit, you know, I was, you know, burning and drinking off that yak. I'm like, shit, I might think about that for a minute because, you know, that's kind of cool to go over another nigga crib and bang his wife. But then what would y'all do? I want to know what you would do. Me? I would yeah, not would fuck you? a cop's wife. No, a sheriff at that. They, yeah, they so look, definitely so get away so, with it. So, they so plant some dope on your fucking in your seat. So, you yeah, put a so fucking peep, gun on your hand. So peep yeah. game. So so look, listen. So peep game, man. My dumb ass. I went over there, right? So oh, I was like, fuck man. it. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, man. I'm gonna go over here real That's quick, the right? Man, go yeah. in there real quick. <laughs> look, yeah, that was the nigga in me, man. That was the nigga in me, and then, I ain't gonna tell you that I was a white chick too, right? So peep, I go over there. <laughs> definitely a nigga in you. <laughs> yep. I go over there, man. I was going to smashing this shit, right? I go to smashing this shit. Next day, I look up, man. I see this nigga picture on the wall in his uniform. Man. And right then and there, look. Right then and there, dog. I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck am I doing? I sobered up so goddamn quick, dude. I was like, man, let me get the fuck up out of here, dog. This, this motherfucker come home, kill me, plant, plant some shit on me or any goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? My dick would have got soft as hell. Like, oh, oh no. No, it, it did. That's why I left, Jude. Yeah. That's why I left. As soon as I saw the picture, nigga, my shit went straight limp. I was like, oh, it's time for me to roll. He's like, I shot this so, son of a bitch trying to break in. Break in with my wife's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dog. That's what I started thinking. I started telling my homeboys, they're like, yo, you a wild boy for that one, dog. And I yeah. still look, the fucked up thing about it is I still see this nigga, dog, around. Mm. So I still see him. I still see his wife and shit. He don't know I smash, but I be looking at it. Every time I see this nigga, I say, damn, man, I was in your crib fucking your wife, man. Did you did you did you stop fucking the wife too? Or are you are you still doing that? Oh yeah, I I, I stopped out. That was the last time, dog. I was yeah. scared shitless after that because what happened was I started talking to niggas, my homies. They were like, dude. You stupid as hell, man. You out here doing your shit in the street. He yeah. gonna come looking for your ass off GP. Yeah. You gotta yeah. add whatever you're doing out there. Like, yeah. You, you done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to think. I had to think, man. I was on that I was on that yak, man, and then and, and trees, man. That shit ain't good for the thinking. Sometimes. Look, if you need yeah. to fuck someone in uniforms, wife, get someone that's overseas serving. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that, those, dude. Those chicks are whores, man. The fuck. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, too, yeah. man. He's hey, yeah, clearly. he was too for a motherfucker to come on. And then I ain't even mentioned though her. They kid was in the back room sleep. Oh man, oh, can man. you imagine? Oh, oh dog, you did it tonight. But yeah, courtesy though, you fucked her quietly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did, and I got out. But look, I was in there for a little quick minute. Then I looked up and seen this picture. I said, "Oh shit, what am I thinking, yo?" Yeah. See as soon as you, as soon as you like cop wife, I'm like, no, 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 no. She had some good pussy, right? Pussy was good at least. Oh yeah, no doubt. Man. Oh look, look, she swallowed it all, dog. And when she, her oh. thing was, I can't see, I can't see you home like that. Oh, so, so wait, so, she, she oh, still sucked shit. you off. Shit. Oh yeah. You're like, yeah, I gotta yeah, stop. Yeah, no she was like, nah, nah, no, no, we're gonna get like, a nut yeah. out of you. I was like, look, I gotta go. She was like, nah, man, you gotta, you know what I mean? She gave me a. Head, I came real quick and was out. I was like, let me go. Dang. Good on you. Shit. Yeah, man. Every now and every now and again you get away with it. Congratulations. Yeah, we yeah, we love you, man. Yeah. This is one of the for, great stories yeah. of Shade Four Five. You like, did it for everybody. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, that was uh, that was a great ending. Yeah, I thank mean, you, Who Kid. You didn't even need no conclusion to that. Where like, where can people find you? Uh, at DJ Who Kid on my Instagram, yeah. and of course this weekend I'm 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 here. I mean, I'm oh, here word. all fucking day. 
Noon to six. Look, there it is. Who kid? Noon to six, and follow him at DJ Who Kid on shit. fucking everything. Coming up, DJ Godfather's way back mix. Detroit shit on my on my motherfucking birthday. You on your way to Yankee Stadium? I'm on my way right now with my soccer team, NYCFC. If you want to come and just be in stage with that me, that sounds with some, awful. With mad Spanish nope. people. No, what? Nah, I got some. Come I, through. I, I got some shit lined up. You look Mexican a little bit too. I could be. I'm, they're like, who's a weirdo? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck. I got some shit lined up. Uh, my bad. I got birthday sex. Uh, my bad. Happy oh, birthday, good? by the way. Thank you, bro. You look like you're 22, by the uh, By the way, that's because I got Stop. a hat on. I got <laughs> you looking like a 22, nigga. All right, let's go. Yeah, I like that. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. What's up, this Jay-Z, and you're listening to DJ Godfather. Swiss Beast the Monster, chilling with DJ Godfather, the God of the Game. It's showtime! Maniac dumb dumbs bust the scientific approach to the course and the force is centrifugal. Can you find your way through the lyrics that be catching them? Throw another rhyme across the room, they be fetching them. And they take a loss, take a loss to the master. And I throw those crazy blows and they know I be plastering. All across the room, on the ceilings and the walls too. Punk little suckers didn't know I had the gall to come around, they block with my cock diesel system and turn it up to 10 and then start to diss them. And they didn't want to battle if they did. When they saw me, they'd have opened up their trunk, but they tried to ignore me. Hey, little suckers, I know you hear me calling you. But you wanted some, but I see that you're all in two. Frontin' ain't no future in your front, so let's get it on. Puffin' game, take the action, sit it on the hood of 
up your wick whack, low riding Cadillac. Back up your boys and let's start the battle act. Like, you know, the master ace don't play when it comes to my base. Ah, Father, I see you, man. You the dawn of the DJ game. Okay. 
way and we fit to make a grip coming straight from out the O, so you know that we got the funky track this fat but anyway it's my turn so let me introduce special one first up from the gangster crew known as ccd with the title and the rep it's quite apparent serving funky hits to keep your punk tricks staring pump it up mac hits for your ears kicking loud and clear making floor and disappear hitting donuts in a tray sideways to the next like triple gold bangs and the kids tight five feet mobbing through in the town deuce tone gangster flake with the top down damn the hits hitting hard in the truck got me three wheels switching on them is on the next block headed straight to the top and as long as my skills pay the bills i'ma never stop kicking them hits you love pass the tank and a drink for the to buzz it's a ghetto thing so i bring the ghetto swing hooking brothers like the cane when i do my thing five real g's mobbing on a mission check it it's the funky expedition that we call a little something to ride to. i think very deeply i think very deeply i think very deeply Check this out, it's your boy Warren G, and I'm rocking with the Godfather right now, Shade 45. Better ask somebody. Let us begin, what, where, why, or when? We'll all be explained like instructions to a game. See, I'm not insane, in fact, I'm kind of rational. When I'm asking you, who is more dramatic than this one or that one? The white one or the black one? Black the punk and I'll jump up to attack one. Terrorist one is just the god of leader crew. Right up to your face and diss you. Everyone saw me on the last album cover. Holding a pistol, something far from a lover. Beside my brother, S-C-O-T-T. I just laugh, cause no one can defeat me. This is lecture number two, my philosophy. Number one was poetry, you know it's me. You know it's my philosophy. Many artists gotta learn. I'm not flammable, I don't burn. So please stop burning and learn to earn respect. Cause that's just what chaos From the Bronx is back in real, real life. We roll correctly. A lot of suckers would like to forget me, but they can't. Cause like a champ, I have got a record of knocking out the frauds in a second. On the mic, I believe that you should get loose. I haven't come to tell you I got juice. I just produce, create, innovate on a higher level. I'll be back, but for now, just settle. Uh, uh. Oh, 
It's your boy, Manny Fresh, DJ Godfather. You heard me? Take a tire. Ugly fake folks need to retire. They got your gas. Take a match and smack fire out your magnet ass. Have it represent for the QBC. Smoke that ass like a Lucy, though I need to quit. Fuck it. I love it like a cloud over the projects. Your game, I'm above it. It's combat. Gas fingers and all that. You just walk at whatever you want. Get off that. I mentioned nothing but the real shit presenting. The hollow tip fool. 41st I convention. Try fool. You have to step in. Like a fresh tech out of the box. Yo, niggas are testing. That's no question. Bitch ass, have you confessing? Like a DT. Left this state of depression. You want depression. Intact, no doubt. Catch up. This is natural. Took it with asthma. You cast, but you yell my name. That's only giving me props. Plus the fans that you got. What the river got to rock. It's too not. Nah, Knocked out the box and got rock, got raped on the island. You officially got kicked that dog shit. Buy magazine or some love shit. Yeah, Keep real nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know who the fuck you with the infamous. Back in the house once again. Live the life out of diamonds and guns and now gems. Pull gas like a big set. Pull on stem. The wall got the ball. Run out and tell the friend drop the gem on. And I unload with six bit and quit with the split a split second. Bomb with a lit wick expression. You hear a tick tick, then you test, 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 test. Yo, what's up? This is your man Royce the 5'9, and right now you're checking out my dog, DJ Godfather, Eminem Shade 45. Yeah. 5'9, uh. Wesson, I unload with six bit, the quick wit, the split a split second. Bomb with a lit wick expression. You hear a tick tick, then you test it. My saliva is spit, the split thread and the fiber and bits. So trust me, I'm as live as it gets. Everybody claim to the best and they had the throne since big is gone. If you ask me, they dead wrong. My flow is hotter than the flash from the clip. When the hammer slaps the bullet on the ass from the clip. You wind up in the room full of my dogs. I have you feeling like a fire hydrant in a room full of dogs. So come, come now. Get pissed on, shitted on. Tough talk turns, but can't we all just get along? You get blazed when the mic's off, shot when it's on. You probably duck when they laid the gunshot in your song. My gun still stutters when it speaks to you. Other shit to repeat to you. Nothing to clip to give a speech to you. Me and Premier, we kind of the same in ways. We both speak with our hands in dangerous ways. Rap now is a circus of clowns. A whole lot of lip from clicks. I probably wrap circles around. I'm the next best to reach a peak. Formerly known as the best kept secret. I guess that I just leaked it. <laughs> You know it's funky, 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 cause you heard it from his seat. A jam that you love that don't be getting no airplay. Strictly for fronting when you're riding around. 12 o'clock at night with your windows down. Headlights breaking cause your battery's drained. Armor roll on your tires and a big gold chain. Parking outside all the hip hop spots. Push the EQ and play connect the dots. Leaning to the side, people everywhere. The trunk full of ants, ain't no room for a spare. Big beats bumping with the bass and back. All us sophisticated suckers take a heart attack. Cause they don't understand why I act this way. Pumping up the funky beat until the break of day. It's because I want attention when I'm riding by. And the girls be on my job, cause the system fly. Never, never. 
Rockin', what's up? You only be in the with E, man. I'm trying to get paid in full. Well, check this out. Since Norby Walker is our agency, right? True. Carol Lewis is our agent. Well up. Zakia and Fourth and Broadway is our record company. Indeed. Okay, so who we rollin' with then? We rollin' with Rush. Our Rush Town Management. So check this out. Since we're talking over the F.E. right here that I put together, I want to hear some of them deaf rhymes. You know what I'm saying? And together, we can get paid in full. Full, 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 full. of a master plan this ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand so i dig into my pocket all my money spent so i could deep up but still coming up with lint so i start my mission leave my residence thinking how could i get some dead presidents i need money i used to be a stick up kid so i think of all the devious things i did i used to roll up this is a hole up ain't nothing funny stop smiling you still don't nothing move but the money but now i learn to earn cause i'm righteous I feel great, so maybe I might just search for a nine to five. If I strive, then maybe I'll stay alive. So I walk up the street, whistling this, feeling out of place, cause man, do I miss a pen and a paper, a stereo, a taper. Me and Eric being a nice big plate of this, which is my favorite dish. But without no money, it's still a wish. Cause I don't like to dream about getting paid. So I dig into the books of the rhymes that I made. So now I test to see if I got pulled. Hit the studio, cause I'm paid in full. Akim, check this out. Yo, you go to your girl's house, I go to mine. My girl is definitely mad cause it took us too long to do this album. Yo, I hear what you're saying. So let's just pump the music up and count our money. Yo, but check this out. Yo, Eli, turn the bass down and just let the beat keep on rocking. And we out of here. Yo, what happened to peace? Peace, 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 peace. I'm Eminem, and you're listening to DJ Godfather on Shade 45. Godfather, what up, though? Though, though, though. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. I don't know if you know anybody who's really hip to this gluten-free diet, but new science shows it is expensive bullshit. So people who are saying that they're saving their lives. I mean, there are certain people with this, like, what is it, celiac disease? Yeah, it's like a small percentage. Tiny. But the people, Tiny. like some of my hippie friends who say this, uh, who say it changed their lives. I mean, I knew they were fucking full of shit anyway. But My girl's got that celiac shit. Well, she needs. So, yeah. yeah, I'm like, you're lucky you got that celiac shit or else I wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> That's like, are you fucking kidding me? I think I was telling you this shit. Like, I, half my cousins went gluten free and just ruined Christmas. We're fucking Italian, dude. Have you had gluten free pasta? This was before the garbanzo bean shit dropped. It was fucking disgusting. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, guys? You're not fucking gluten free. Oh, but the way this shit's processed now, you know what? Fucking power through it for fucking Christmas, dude. Eat the goddamn eat eat the eat the processed flour, dude. Just fucking do it. And I'm not even argue, I'm not even like trying to disagree with them. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. There's probably totally tons of weird shit in the fucking food now, but like, just we're here now. It, you were good a year ago. Fucking just toughen it, toughen up. But so this study that's just out found that eating gluten-containing flour is safe for healthy people. It's the first ever, uh, like, serious study to look at this. And, again... Well, who, who did the study? Credible Monsanto people. Monsanto or some shit? Somebody that Monsanto owns? Well, I didn't dig that deep. All of these studies are always like, who did it? Who paid them? Who did that? And usually, that sometimes they're like four, four people away, man. Well, that's a good question, but it's over at the University of Sheffield. I don't know. What the, who funds that? Look. A professor of gastroenterology. Okay, fine. I'm just saying. 
I trust and I'm not even disagreeing with you. Like, I'm just tired of motherfuckers, like, coming up with these allergies just to be fucking interesting at dinner. Like, dude, how fucking bougie can you get? Like, oh, I can't know. I can't eat bread. It makes me bloated. I had a whole loaf and I was bloated. Like, bitch, you ate a whole loaf of fucking bread. So, and it's I, fucking ridiculous. I mean, when I'm in those conversations, I just kind of leave it alone because they get so sensitive. Just and I was like, okay, fine. Your you, your eyes are not watering anymore. Okay. That's, I was I was cool. on a there, there was this girl that used to come on the show, Jamie Fox. She's shout out to her. She uh, I'm actually cool with her. But we went on a date and we went to an Italian restaurant and she was like, by the way, I'm gluten free. And she had that fucking waiter running back and forth to check and see if there was gluten and shit. I'm like, you know what doesn't have gluten in it? Fucking lettuce. Just get the goddamn salad. Get the fucking salad. My favorite was when like these motherfuckers that go to uh when I was when I was bussing tables and doing the radio show at the same time and they would go to they would go to Chego, which is a Korean spot. And guess what? There's fucking gluten and soy sauce. Like, really? Yeah. I'll be yeah, honest. I, I, don't, from, I don't even know what the fuck gluten is. I, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed. I, I think it's made from wheat. I think there's yeah. gluten in beer and shit. Like, yeah. there's gluten fucking everywhere. It's just, all over. yeah, they're like, oh, they do all this gluten. And they're like, I can't eat bread. I'm like, okay. I just, I don't even, I don't even say shit. I'm just like, all right, sure. Good luck with that. And to all, and and then what it also does is for the silly, the people that really are suffering from this shit, it cheapens their fucking disease because everyone else is hopping on that shit. Fucking ridiculous. And it's it's way more expensive. Let's see. The American gluten-free products market valued at two point seven billion dollars in twenty eighteen. Man, every. Just... Oh, man. Every year, some new shit. I'm surprised this shit. This shit's been going on for a minute, man. On Instagram, if you search for hashtag gluten free, 28 million posts show up. I can't even front. I was like 23 and went to a psychic, and she was like, don't eat any more wheat products or coffee. And I cut that shit out. And I lost a gang of weight, but Did you? whatever. I also fainted the first night I went out because <laughs> I wasn't used to I had a, from a lack of blood sugar. Some cholos were kicking the shit out of this dude and I just fucking fainted. I was like, oh, he's fucked. So there's that. Well, so I'm not better than them. I'm just older and wiser and I'm just saying, hey, come on. And the psychic told me. So what is that? That makes it even worse. I'm listening to fucking psychics. Well, I've got a dietitian here saying that people think gluten-free is healthier, but in many cases, it's actually less healthy. Those foods are often more processed, higher in fat. And yeah. Sugar, lower in fiber. Yeah. yeah. That's why I stopped being a vegetarian. I, like, took a look at the shit I was eating. I'm like, everything's fucking processed. Like, the veggie burgers and shit, the fucking morning glory shits, like, there's 57 ingredients in that shit. I'm like, fuck, I'd be better off just eating a fucking pig. A pig. Whatever, a fucking cow, whatever. I'll eat, a, take a bite out of a cow. I'll be better. Ugh. Motherfucker, you eat hamburgers. I don't eat everything. Just the way that you say, it, take a bite out of a cow. I just had this image, but no. yeah, I just I, I like to remind people where their fucking meat is coming from. They're like, that's not an animal. It's a burger. Like, nah, that was a fucking living thing, and you killed it so that you could eat, and you're gonna shit it out. Mm. Cause we're top of the food chain. Get used to it. And quit apologizing, bitch. <laughs> so I had a dead cow for fucking at Del Frisco's for my birthday thing. Shout out to Del Frisco. They even Gilbert called in. They even gave me a fucking free dessert. Yep. Ah, oh, Gilbert. Yep. Friend of the show. Ate the fuck out of that cow. And you know the worst part? I left some, so he died in vain. Wow, you seem to take pride in that. That motherfucker died in vain. It was either that or I was going to be sleepy during the show. Which one do you guys want? Take your pick. We're not in a perfect world. Do you ever get takeout? Where when you say, hey, just put it in a box? I always go for the box. You don't do that? Of course you go for the box. Of course you're I poor. do. I to, yeah. yeah. I can make that last for like a day or two. I'd, I'd, look, man, me and my sister have the exact opposite shit. Like, we both came up the same way, and I'll order everything and leave shit just because it's like, bitch, because I can. And my sister will fucking 
she'll bring everything with her because yeah. she grew up having nothing. We both grew up having nothing, but like that's our that's the way we react to it. It's funny how different people react to the same stimulus in different ways. I'm like, Psh, I'll have that appetizer, I'll have that, or we'll the two fucking entrees, just eat some, leave it, whatever, fuck it, let's go. Box it up. Psh, for what? So I can walk around, stink up the bar? Yeah. I'm sure people love when you roll up <laughs> with your fucking leftovers and shit, drinking bottom of the fucking shelf gin. When I was in Vegas with Domo. I, said, I hey. saw on CNBC the other day, uh, or MSN, whatever the fuck you watch, uh, fucking ruining everybody's time. Like Jesus Christ, man, we're just trying to have a couple of drinks and enjoy ourselves. Do you want that Here pickle? Here comes Stinky with the politics. Hey, put that pickle in the box. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured you on the bus with a pickle in a box. <laughs> it's happening. How? It's amazing you haven't killed yourself yet. That is fucking. <laughs> like I said, I'm the cockroach. Try and kill. I, yeah, I guess like if you get on the bus with a box with one pickle in it, you're the type of person that's not gonna end your life. You don't even like realize how much you suck. Just <laughs> like, keep pushing. You don't man. even. <laughs> Fine. You don't even fucking. You don't even get it. Uh, All right. oh, man, I got a guy over in Ohio, and he is in prison. Well, they're saying jail, but it looks kind of prison-like. But now, a, a drone flew over and then dropped some contraband. He caught it, and naturally, he got in some trouble. All right, let's watch this. I'm gonna watch it live, or I'm gonna watch out. So they're all in oranges, yep. which means that he's usually that means you're in for something violent in a lot of places. So he's looking up and he's got, he's making like the little, he's using his shirt to catch. And then they had like a cornhole thing set up and he trips over the cornhole and he grabs the fucking thing that dropped. Tried to it was it. so unslick, dude. <laughs> I know. That was like the most unslick shit I've ever seen. Like he just <laughs> telegraphed that shit. How'd you even know like if he was a quarterback, we intercepted every fucking time. He didn't think about the cameras on him? Why don't they just bribe guards like like regular prisoners do? Just bribe the guards. That's how the shit comes in, as I've heard. Well, Ask Takashi. He'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so. He'll tell you which guards everything. <laughs> oh, looks like it was jail. County jail. He's in county for some reason. Yeah. There it is. Trying to smuggle some shit in. That's Got him. Oh, yeah. I mean, I I don't know how often this is happening. I mean, it seems like every couple months I come across a drone prison story where someone's flying a drone over the prison. But, I mean, you're almost better. Off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how prisons go. I don't know if they sweep the yard or anything like that. But if they don't, I would like set it up where it's at night and it just gets dropped in a corner and then tell someone to go look for it. I said like broad daylight. Yeah, but like I said, I don't know how prisons or jails work. I don't know if they fucking have someone just go make sure there's no contraband stashed. So I would if I was a fucking warden. I'm like, go make sure there's no contraband stashed. I hope there's no wardens listening. <laughs> Give them any ideas? Fucking up their game. But those things I are so loud straight. too. I mean, you got guards up on the on the tower, and then suddenly you got a weed whacker flying overhead. I mean, how are they not going to see that? Should like, we? Mm. Just bribe the guards, guys. Yeah. That's the easiest way to do it. Just bribe the fucking guards. Seems a little flawed. They got Venmo now. You know. Now, I don't know if you were popular in high school. I, I don't think that you were exactly, but... The, the, the... Oh, I was, I, was, I was that kid that was cool with everybody. So were you popular, though? Were you one of the cool kids? I was known. Okay. I just knew everybody. I was cool with the jocks. I was cool with the skaters. I was cool with everybody. Well, seems like the Machiavellian-like teens are the most popular. So the ones yeah. who are out there manipulating people and fucking with their heads and doing. Yeah, their... you never noticed that, like with the fucking popular girl. Yeah, they're they bitches. Suck. They suck. Yeah, they're, they're fucking terrible. cunts. 
It's like, hey, she's They're the hot. worst, dude. But and the funny thing is, is like, if you look at them, like, you'll look back, you'll see who the popular girl is. She's not, and she'll have like the best looking boyfriend, and she'll be ugly as hell, like on paper. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, this bitch is ugly, man. But she just, she was just running so much game, and she had so many people running around her doing doing what she was telling them to do. And uh, we don't like her today. Let's call her on three way and get her to fucking talk shit about the other person while she's on there. Y'all don't remember the three way shit. Yeah. The old people did. Hey, what do you think about such and such? Uh, is, isn't he a dick? Yeah, you know, you're just trying to get along. I'm not, this didn't happen to me. But they, yeah, sure. And then they're like, ah, I heard you, bitch. Straight up. People are always so precious about children. And I've said this over and over again. They're just ass. They're just miniature assholes. A lot of times they're actually worse than grown ups. They're fucking monsters. There's a book called Lord of the Flies. Go read that shit next time a bunch of people die. <laughs> it won't feel so bad. I'll just be like, eh. Fucking future assholes. So, but when you were there and you were, it sounds like you were popular on a certain level. I mean, were, were you manipulating people or were you just. No, I was like, I, my, my, I've always been just straightforward. That's kind of been my deal. So then it sounds like you are in the, in the good category here. Pro-social. So you were just a social person, not necessarily fucking with people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I did my thing, and yeah. I was cool with cats. I got along with everybody. I even got along with the nerds because I got in trouble, and they made me sit at the nerd table, and the nerds were none too happy, but, like, whatever. <laughs> I even got cool with them motherfuckers. I was cool with the nerds. Maybe talking about Dungeons and Dragons and shit. And like, oh, for real. They were actually way smarter than everybody else. That's really, really the truth. They were just so smart. They didn't know how to communicate. Then there'd be the, some fucking retard like you. Uh-huh. That just was socially, like, like no brains. You weren't there. You weren't there. You weren't <laughs> there. Imagine. You think you know. I can't imagine. They probably sodomized you with a broom in high school. Oh, uh, there were some, there were some stories, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> see, you didn't even deny it. That's the worst part. You didn't even deny that shit. You weren't even like, no, they didn't. You're like, oh, there's some stories. Well, there was no sodomy, but, you know, lots of weird back punches and girls laughing at that. And like, you're fucking a girl. Why are you laughing? Some guy's fucking killing me. Because teenagers are awful. Yeah. And then the other thing is they're all, everyone's scared. So, like, they laugh so that that person won't do it to them. Yeah. They don't even fucking mean the laugh half the time. They're just fucking frightened, too. Glad it's John, not me. Yeah, I mean, shit. I was, I did the same shit. I was like, in junior high school, I, like, I was really, uh, I was afraid. Like, I knew I stuck out, and like, we were. I was the, I was the poor dirt kid, and I just all I did was find someone that was more poor and more dirt than me, and was like, look at her, you know, and just fucking blazed her. <laughs> they had to bring the mom in. The mom was more fucked up than she was. And then once I like then once I got a job, my balls dropped. I was like, oh man, that was really not cool. And I became cool with her. So, yeah, man. Kids are fucking assholes. And they're sometimes they're scared, other times they're straight up evil. And then every now and again you'll get like a good kid that'll stand up for like principle. But they're rare. It takes a minute to grow into that. I know I know it took me a minute. It's always weird these days when the the bullies want to befriend me on Facebook. I'm like, what? hey, buddy, I've got a long fucking memory. <laughs> I remember you, dickhead. You should just be like, yeah, be their friend. Be like, no, hey, what you up to? What I are do. you up to? I do. I'm, I'm on. I'm on a major hip hop show. <laughs> I'm producing a major hip hop show. That's serious. What are you doing? Sell insurance, which is a exactly a, a noble profession. Ah. Oh. Selling insurance for your dad. Imagine that. How's life back in Jersey? Some of them are still there. That, and no shit, bro. Never left the town. I tell, I'm told you, bro. I went to my 20th just because it was like I wasn't famous and I wasn't successful enough to skip it, but I was successful enough to show up. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, bitch, y'all thought I was going to be a loser. Ha ha, look at me now. I wasn't like Madonna status where I could be like, fuck this shit, doesn't matter. They they know where they see me. They know where the fuck I am. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm shooting for. Look at me now. That is what I'm shooting for. Yeah. So some people are concerned about the new movie, the new Joker movie, that it's going to inspire some wacky people on well not wacky fucking deranged maniacs who want to kill people uh and now even oh this oh some military commanders in oklahoma they're warning mm -hmm. of the potential threat of violence at the release of the joker movie the law enforcement they're not uh, sure which theaters may be affected but it's just a standard thing like hey by the way some people are talk talking about the potential for violence it could inspire some freaks be advised but still i don't know are you, I don't know either, man. Are you worried about the Joker? Probably not. If I get killed watching a movie, oh well. You know, I can't. I can't be concerned with that shit. You know. Yeah, but these people are gonna do it anyway. It's not as though. I mean, I, I can. That's see why it. they should let everybody have a gun. So if old boy jumps up with a fucking gun, you got twenty people to shoot his ass. Like blap blap blap. Yeah, I want to be in that theater when Grandma. No more. No shot. more. Yeah. No more mass shooter. He just got mass shot. <laughs> well, when you get your gun eventually, once you work, they'll that, never give me. They'll never give me a fucking gun. I'm gonna have to find some loophole. Those sons of bitches. I was like, yeah, cool. I'm cool for with background checks. I'm. I take that back. I'm not cool with background checks because I'm not even that. Like I haven't been in any trouble in like over 24 years. Like 25 years, I haven't been into trouble. I was 17, they charged me as an adult. Like, give me a fucking break, for real. I get dinged? You fucking kidding me? Somebody's like, oh, yeah, you're a function. You're a, you're a drug addict, though. I'm like, functioning? And they don't know. They don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> fucking f highly functioning drug addict. Thank you very much. Well, here's the and real we question. We both laughed. Here's What's the real, that? So, when, let's say it all works out and you get the handgun. So, would you get a concealed carry permit? Walk around with your your. Piece? You can't even get that in L.A. You, no, that's not. No, true. that you can't get a see. You can't get a concealed carry in L.A. You got to go to like Orange County and get it, and then you can fucking. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, would you want to carry a piece around? I don't know, man. I'd have to get good. I'd have to get comfortable with a gun. I haven't had a gun since a teenager, you know? Yeah. Just because, like, everybody had a gun. Like, you know, you're just supposed to have a gun. Um, I don't know, with all but, the drugs, uh, man, I don't think you should carry a gun. You wouldn't know when to take it out. Dude, I, like I said, I would really have to get trained. To, like, all the everybody I know that carries a gun that has a strap on them, they're like, they're used to that shit. That's the best way I could put it. They're yeah, used they're, to that shit. Like military people or something. They're either hood or military. Right, okay. Either way, they're, like, used to their gun. I haven't had a gun in forever. The only reason why I was going to buy a gun is because everybody was crying about fucking guns. I just wanted to vote with my money. Like, shut the fuck up with your tears. Like, I don't trust the government. All right? That's what my dad taught me. Don't trust the fucking government. So why would I disarm myself? Who doesn't matter if they want to come get you? Just come get you. Well, I'll kill. I'll kill two, motherfucker. I'll take two with me, bitch. Uh huh. With their automatic look, it's weapon. weapons of war. Well, is it weapons of war? Or is it not weapons of war? Because if it's weapons of war, I can go to war with these motherfuckers. But clearly, it's not weapons of war because it doesn't matter. How flawed is your logic? It's pretty sound. The, you know. It's, it's a, Whatever, man. What? How did this? Oh, the Joker. And the other thing is, is like they probably, for all I know, the Joker people might have called that shit in themselves just to get us to talk about the goddamn Joker and to fucking push their agenda to disarm fucking people. Maybe I saw an interview. It's like me, Scarface, and Killer Mike. <laughs> me, Scarface, and Killer Mike are all fucking two way. Like fuck y'all, dog. Fuck y'all. I don't even got a gun. Well, Joaquin, I got an axe next to my bed. <laughs> well, Joaquin Phoenix, for one, is tired of talking about it. He even walked out in an interview when someone said, well, aren't you worried about the, the kids shooting up the theater? He's like, oh, please stop it. I know. He's like, please, come on, man. For real. This is what this. And, you know, he's like an artiste. You know what I mean? So he, like, takes his shit very seriously. He's, like, got to answer fucking these politically charged goddamn questions. 
Like, stop it already, y'all. Stop it. Every every time I've been robbed, it's been with a fucking illegal gun. They were like, hey, let me uh, fill out this paperwork, get this gun, and go rob this fucking white guy at a gas station. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> fucking go about it the right way. How many times have you had a gun in your face? Fucking robbed twice. Jeez. That's scary. Then you get like some fucking... I remember just being young and there's this dude, yeah, and a fucking... He ended up... They, he got killed execution style, but he come out like he was like some dope dealer and like just wait like he was just he had a rod wire and a gun. You just when you just saw him, you just be like, all right, man, let me get the fuck away from here because I'm gonna get bit or he's gonna fucking put his gun on you. He was older than us. <laughs> My nuts ain't dropped yet, you know what I mean? He's like yeah. sick him, sick him. I'm like, yo, dude, that's not funny, man. Well, I've got some good news. Wonder why they killed him. <laughs> he seems so agreeable. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they fucking assassinated his ass. He did have a sweet car. It was on switches and everything, though. So that was awesome. And he made a jump. He was Machiavellian. There you go. Yeah. That guy's Machiavellian. He was like, ah, one minute he's like, oh, he's really cool. And then the next minute he's got it, he's sicking his dogs on you. Like one minute it's like, hey, the car's jumping. Ah, get the gun off me. Ugh. Fucking maniac. <laughs> go ahead, man. You want some uh, good news? I just told you the good news. Uh, he's dead now. That's, it depends <laughs> on how you look at that. All right, go ahead. What is the good news? And now, time for good news. This is out of Texas. Former gang leaders are now embracing peace so they can stop the violence and be better role models. So dozens of men and women are undergoing these uh, transformation thanks to um, former Crips and, and Bloods gang leaders who are determined to put a stop to this. And I've got a, a name of this, Original Gangsters United. And OGU. Yeah, the OGU, exactly. And I've got some people in the in the program talking about it for a second because obviously they're, you know, in prison and they're trying to you know, get people off the streets and shit like that. So, That's cool, man. Let's hear about it. All right, hang on. Here we go. These young adults they are the influencers on the street. We serve the 10% that are involved with 90% of the criminal activity. We don't say at risk. We say proven risk. If we can do really solid work with these young adults and they can do solid work for themselves, that 10% can really flip into the number one biggest and best allies in our community towards positive change. Today is a new day, a new beginning. How you show up in the world is really important. You've been through a whole lot of things, but you make it right for yourself. Should I choose conflict or should I choose peace? So then they go on and of course they're out there just trying to you know, stop the kids from killing each other. Was that someone that was in the gang talking or was that someone that was just like Running shit talking. That was somebody involved with the program. Looks like a good Yeah, gang. I know it. He did not sound like he was in a fucking you know, X gang. Not exactly. Thanks for playing me the person that I didn't want to hear. Well, Thanks. This, this guy looks a little street. Hey, here's some fucking guy that it, it didn't experience anything like that. And uh, let's hear what he has to say. This guy looks a little gangster. All right, let's see. Too late. All right, fine. You blew it. All right. On my birthday. He's got a big chain. Happy birthday. Fucking net. Yeah. <laughs> Get you you know what you gave me for my birthday? Consistency. Yeah. Thanks, John. You know what's coming. I know, yeah. I know. I just knew you were going to fuck something up. <laughs> right. Got this thing against guns, and uh, here's uh, here's prisoners talking, except for the not the prisoners. It's uh, some other fucking guy. Looks like he's the CEO. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what he's driving. I guess what? That's the news. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. All right, shout out to everybody. Uh, motherfucking DJ Godfather for the Way Back Mix. DJ Who Kid. I had two of my favorite DJs on today. That was fucking awesome. Uh, everybody that was wishing me the birthday wishes, thank you. Just hop on, on my timeline. Please do not jump in my DMs with that shit, man. Please, I thank you as a birthday present to me. Appreciate you. On the boards, it's Chris, 
John is a producer. Alex is running thing. Kenyon is a uh, associate producer. Also, last but not least, class your life up. I'm slanging that wine book bundle autographed. Shit's mad fancy, so fancy I can't even tell you who makes the wine because they do not want to be associated with me. <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> so go to one more Jew.com if that interests you. Get something they're gonna be collectible. It's a good vintage. You know what vintage means? Me neither, but it's good. Not nah, see where it's from. Uh, so there's that. One more Jew.com. Y'all have a good one, and I will talk to you tomorrow.